Hello Commanders, pro tips for Delith, no MC on final level, so you can use sponge guns. Was gonna tell Lewis on r slash cast discord but didn't want to get banned. Also if there's any new chumps in new games sign me up lads. Good hunting boys. And to donate for the final push, please put the money towards the inevitables com widows and orphans fund. Suffer not the alien to live. I'm no good at staying straight. We are almost there. I mean yes this Ben fellow seems to be telling our chumps to shoot themselves with blaster bombs, thus increasing my paperwork when we get back, might I add, but we can do this. I'll protect you, stay close, Louis Bear. <laughs> Donating for the final stream. Let's hope that Captain Cools and the rest of the squad will be victorious over the aliens. Love watching this BTW guys keep up the good work. 
never forget the chumps who died to get you here, boys. 07 never forget. You've activated my trap card. Hello Commanders. I may have died in the tragic blast bomb misfire tragedy last week, but I didn't want you to know I have absolute faith in you and he rest of the chumps. Good luck. I managed to save the lady killjoy tapes with my charred body. Oh. Hey Commanders, I heard that Sips is sending Sam Gibbs a message for every little shitty problem he has. Now I feel really sorry for Sam and wanted to tip him 10 units of your oil credits. Please make sure this reaches him. Thanks. Hashtag tips for gives. The final battle. It was a fun ride. Good luck. 07. Dropship Deacon here again, just finished the final exam for my degree whilst my brain flashy comrades finish the fight. Next year I'll be Deacon, Master of Research. Good luck chumps and chumpettes, and thank you Smd. Lewis and General Ben. Vigilo Confido. Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to the Wednesday stream with Lewis and Ben. Hey. Saving the world. The world. Hello, Commander. <laughs> the, Hello, Commander. The world is under threat, but today Hello. we will finish off the, the alien threat yeah, that has what, plagued like, the planet. Feels this like we've far. been playing this for, like, what, eight months or something? That's about right, Ben. Holy shit. And we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're in the final... Well, we're halfway through the final mission. Ugh. Hoo-wee. Oh, my God. Look how white my jacket is. Oh, my God. Is. It's, like, blinding me. It is. It's ah. like... Oh, don't look. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's like you're an angel. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a haircut. I'm going to get my haircut tomorrow, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'll have short hair. Man, how much are you going to go for, what, number two, all, all of over? It, all of it off. All off? Mm, You're going to get the sex machine solar panel installed. That's <laughs> what they call it. <laughs> the sex machine solar panel? Yeah. you never seen those cheesy t-shirts that say, I'm not bald, it's a solar panel for a sex machine. Right, I see. And I guess it powers you? Yeah, I mean, you go out in the sunshine. it means you can't have sex at night. Right. Which kind of sucks. That is odd, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only, only on the, only in public outside. And it doesn't work with, with, with the lights off either. All the lights on. It doesn't matter. No. Yeah, it can only be outside during the day. Yeah. Very yeah. specific. Yeah, yeah. Sex on the beach. I mean, I've, <laughs> I can, I can count the amount of times on one hand that yeah. the amount of sex I've had outside during the day. 
below yeah. commander. This many. This, this, this many. <laughs> this, this many. <laughs> oh, man. Well. well so so maybe, they carry, there, um, maybe they carry the battery backpacks so they can, like, charge the battery in the day and then at night, big sexy backpacks. They have to wear the backpack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, Tony, get the backpack <laughs> on. Plug yourself in, Tony. I feel like... And then get the backpack. <laughs> 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 uh, Sorry, perfect. Right. We're really setting the tone for Let's, XCOM. Let's uh, get we? back into the mission. So last week we started the mm. first with three parts, three part XCOM final with Terra from the Deep mission. We yeah, played Terra from the Deep on the hardest difficulty setting, and Thanks. it's been hard. It's taken us months to get this far. Mm -hmm. Three restarts. Loads of donations are coming in. Man, everyone's yeah. so generous. Thank you for for getting them. I mean, it's too late to in. join the squad, but we appreciate it nonetheless. Well, who knows? It looks like people are people are donating for the the final push. And Ghost Von Clown says, um, "Please I'm put no this money towards the inevitable XCOM Widows and Orphans Fund." <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah. So I feel like our legacy payments may bankrupt us. To be honest. Well, yeah, it's better than all being on the street. I once served in the XCOM <laughs> military forces. You don't know, man. You weren't there. Yeah. The lobster man. All the crazies on the street. While oh, everyone's man. eating their lobster rolls. And they don't realize, <laughs> I died for your sushi, man. <laughs> yeah, you don't realize there's like, going to be alien cloning vats installed in every oh. lobster. Shit. Well, we're going to harvest their eggs. Look, we're going to take all these eggs back. And we're going to start farming them. Are they little crowns they're wearing in there? These, these are Guys. eggs. These some kind of... Uh, oh. Uh, can uh, we, uh, yeah, we turn might have them to turn them off, them off. please, <laughs> Sam? It's getting rather annoying uh, already. But yes, thank you. We do, we do, Hello, we do Commander. relish your. Um, no, your I love donations. the donations, and we certainly read them. But we, could, we, we don't. Do, we do read all of them. We don't need Duncan telling us about his trap card every five seconds. No, thank you though. Um, so yes, we got we got a bunch of you in chat who are still alive. Yes, yeah, we do a roll like, call of everyone in the team. Yeah, we'll do like the final, the final guys that made it. While you move everyone in, actually, just get moving everyone in for God's all sake, because right. otherwise we'll be here all day, aren't we? All right. We got, um, we got all night, man. But we, we basically finished off this second mission last time. Yeah, but I got lazy and formed the man train to the exit. Exits down here. Yeah. And um, and when that happened, a, a little sneaky brain popped out of here and gobbled up one of our guys. Oh. And uh, we lost him. Right. It was it was a bad time. And there's a um, guy. But this guy's. Mind controlled, which is good, and this guy is mind also mind controlled. Okay, so let's make them fight like hobos. Okay, um, and I need, I need someone who. Rakito, yeah, so he's in chat right now. Ah, oh, sniper sponge Rakito, your job today is to watch the bum fight and make sure that they actually fight. All right, because someone has to keep an eye on them to make sure we can get the psychic. I suppose shouldn't everyone just run side. for the exit? Well, everyone but Rakito. Right, Rakito oh, has to has to do the bum fight. Everyone else can just get on with it. Everyone else can okay. run. Who else is in chat who's alive? We'll find out. Axis Gaze is in chat. So Zephyr Podzogosian is here. Cesaro uh. is here. Um, Skidura is here. Man, it's good to have all these guys with us. Super Punch Man's. Fluffs, of course. Mark Chen. Oh, Slots oh, of man. Fun is here. Having a roll call. Nice. Everyone's it's here. Good to see, like... It's good to see, like, we've... we've but Mars is here. Oh man, Mars. Oh Mars. I really wanted to carry your sorry ass from the first mission to the last. That would have been nice. That would have been amazing. One person from surviving from the very first mission through to the yeah. last. You were the chosen one, Mars. He got his donation in really fast then, like you on that first on that first stream to be part of the original yeah. squad. He was meant to be the chosen one. You were the best of us, Mars. You were supposed to kill the lobster man, not die to them. Tinicious, oh. recording your exploits, pers personal secretary and historian. Did Lady Kildred, oh she died, but she left a lot of like sexy exercise tapes and videos. Yeah, we haven't heard from her for a while. I think, oh, I think she got a new chump in a, in a training base. No, no, she didn't. Didn't know, I think she is in a training base. I don't think so, I think she uh, like, lives think on she in the memory of sexy videos. <laughs> right. She was like a, a prodigious pornographic actress. Basically, oh. who's like she was like the Amy Winehouse of pornographic what? actresses. She died young, oh. but she left a really good, <laughs> like good back catalogue, good, good CD. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm shooting at this wall because there's a there's a blockage. I can't get through. Well, you we just have to queue up. Okay. God, I thought you were shooting at one of our own guys. No, there. Yeah, just clear, me. clearing the way. That's you. That's me. Here we are, best buds. We're at the back. That seems a bit bit bad. We got. Here we go. Okay. Now, right. we've been saying this name wrong, haven't we? Oh, yeah. It's R. 
McClowen. R. McClowen. Or is it? Yeah, it's Not R. M. Clownin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I prefer that, actually. <laughs> yeah. You're clowning. You're clowning. You're clowning, man. So right. Rikita says, Hello, commanders. Pro tips for Telef. Well, we're on it. It's a bit late for pro tips. On the final level. No, no, no spoilers. Okay. Spoiler alert. Jeez. Stop spoiling it. He's giving us tips. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. All right, I won't read it. Um... I was going to tell Lewis on the IOS cast Discord, but didn't want to get banned. Why? What? Uh, you, I'm on the IOS cast Discord, but I can't see it now, obviously, because I'm playing XCOM with Ben. Got a new phone today. Yeah, some kind of Samsung's. My my old phone. Mm. My phone is like, well, that died fast, didn't it? Yeah, just a little little poke it's with drill. Not even a good drill. We can just bring him with us. <laughs> don't think he'll uh, stay loyal the whole way. But don't worry, Rikito, tell that lobster man to bend over, take good old pummelin. Okay, good job, Rikito. Is he, like, on his own at the back? Yeah, oh, feels bad. he's like, you know, that guy in a horror movie who definitely always survives. Okay, well, start queuing people up. Um, if there's any new chumps in new games sign me up lads what are we going to play next after XCOM uh, well I went around my I've got a list of like old games I love uh, that I installed oh, like yeah, half shit. an hour We've ago got retro games I've got a whole load of retro games so we, was, was this was, choice was, was this one of my choices or was one this was a joint choice this was a joint because we both love it I picked colonization you yeah. picked Star Trek Rise of Birth the of Federation. Federation yeah you picked uh, Star Trek. I was going to say Rise of the Rebellion for some reason. <laughs> I picked Star Trek that we didn't enjoy, really. Well, it we was enjoy I it. enjoyed moments. I enjoyed some of it, but I don't know if it worked well for streams. It was okay. We just didn't get very okay. far, did we? No. It was like it was a bit, a bit meandering. And I was no good at the combat, which didn't help. So you had to do all the fights. Yeah, I didn't mind. I wasn't. I, was, I wasn't very really good, good at those. <laughs> either. Not not good at either. Spacking either. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's been a bit of a strange day. So yeah. I did some... I don't know quite how I feel about... Like, I, I really enjoy everything we do. I enjoy the Farming Valley. I enjoy the Dio Zone. I enjoy mm. the Civ Games. I enjoy the streams. I enjoy eating Draw Dragon and the Travels for Fest. You're doing a lot, But though. I'm doing a lot. I think you're doing too much. And, um... Because you're on all the channels all the time. I like doing events. I like doing... Is he injured, by the way? Yeah, yeah, we had a few injuries when I uh, misfired that blaster bomb. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, a few people the, got... The incident. Got hurt. We don't talk about that. No. <laughs> it's referred to as the incident. <sighs> so, yeah, I... I, I um... I, I... Last week, we were going to head to Stockholm, and I was talking on the stream a little bit about how it was a little bit... Um, uh, bit, uh, bit. You weren't excited. I was on the fence about even going. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, do I really want to go? Man, I'm really, really glad I went. It was a lot of travelling. Yeah. But I really enjoyed. It was a long trip. Sweden. I we really, had fun, didn't we? Really liked Sweden. Mm. It's a good yeah, place. It was really good. Um, it was like everyone speaks English so well. <laughs> I know it's kind of embarrassing. It makes you realise how bad at every other language you are. Yeah, and the other thing is though that um, everyone is like, the only thing that's different. Is that all the signs are in Swedish and all all the every, all the text is in Swedish, which is a little bit, but it, but it doesn't feel like. Basically, it reminded me of when I broke my glasses okay. and I couldn't get them fixed for a week. So I was walking around right. places a bit blind. Yeah, this is when I was like anything. sort of fifteen or whatever. But I, I just, you know, I couldn't see anything. So, right. but I could see in front of me. I could see people and stuff, and I was fine. Mm. But I don't know; it's a weird analogy. I don't know why it reminds me of that, but it just reminds well, me of that. Well, because you're walking reason. around and you don't know what so all it's, the signs it's, are. It's, it's great, but it's just a little bit stressful. Do you mm. see what I mean? In that sense, like it's not—it's not, it's not uh, very stressful. It's just a little bit no. stressful. Well, it's not, especially because, like, if you go to France or Germany or something, you can usually figure out what everything means from the little bit you learn at school. Exactly. Yeah, I like feel like I know a little, at least French and German. A little, and maybe even Spanish a bit too, but yeah. Swedish just felt. I guess I've never been to Japan either. I, I guess It'd Japan be, would be similar. Yeah, but in Japan, no one speaks English. Yeah. Um, well, some of them do. Yeah, but not. But Sweden, everyone speaks yeah. English. Oh my god! It's like, I mean, if you only if you could only pick one language to ever know, like English is a pretty safe bet, isn't it? It's a good one. Yeah, you can usually just speak louder in English, and people. Yeah, loud it. and point. 
We'll figure it out. Where is the bathroom? <laughs> that one! That's all you need. Yeah. I need me proud. to do a poo. <laughs> Toilet! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Fuck, anyway. Yeah, thank I, you to everyone who just joined and didn't immediately turn off while we were doing <laughs> I did enjoy Sweden a lot. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry I was a bit, I don't know, I was I was a little bit kind of grumpy last week about it. I was a bit unsure, yeah. but I really enjoyed it at the end, so top notch, oh, top marks to Sweden. I'm glad you It was a nice hotel, Paradox were absolutely lovely. Yeah, the hotel was great, and Paradox They really were treated great. us to some special stuff, which was mm. fantastic. The, the Paradox Com was a really cool venue. Stockholm's a really cool city. Everyone was really nice. Met loads yeah. of Yognauts, said hi. They were all absolutely lovely people. Yeah. Um, and yes, I'm sure I'll talk more about it um, oh, on, yeah, on the Trifles nice. podcast when I get back to that. But yeah. maybe I won't because I'm not recording Trifles this week. I didn't record one last week. Oh, no. So if people want people want that info, get that out, spread that info out there. Um, How come no Trifles? Well, Everyone last busy. week, Pyrian and my, me and Sips were in Stockholm, mm. and this week, Pyrian's in Prague. Ah. So we haven't got to for two. So if you want us to share that, maybe I should tweak that out. Yeah. Pop but yeah, so like, for example, like, um... So, sorry, just before I get distracted with stories about Stockholm, I got mm. a new phone today. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to try it out. I haven't had a new phone for, like, three years. My, I've got, like, an iPhone wow. 6 or something. And I'm still on a 5. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's a 5, phone. actually. I think it might be a five. Oh, you got the, the like the plus one. Which is the one, new I mean, one. The I, seven. Oh, seven, the new one. All right. Because yeah. I just got the Samsung 8 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, because like a year ago, Turks was like, do you want to upgrade to a Pixel? It's time to upgrade. Right. And I was like, my phone's still working. I don't want to upgrade. Yeah. Um, but now, like, my phone's, like, just dying. Like, the battery's really bad. And I was using it to film stuff well, on as that's well. That's the most frustrating thing, isn't it? That um, they they design them to fall apart after two years. Well, also partly like yeah, partly they designed them to fall apart. Also partly like I used my phone to film when I went to um, away with you uh, for yeah, that Star Wars for day. Star Wars, yeah. And I found a lot of problems with it because the front camera was like a different, like lower resolution to the back camera. Yeah, and like the, and the hard quickly. drive was like too small to like actually contain any footage. Oh, it was just awful. So got a new yeah. phone. Um, I'm going to try putting like an SD card in it, and that will hopefully hold the, the footage oh, if I use that it. That is a much nicer thing about um, Android phones, because Apple, obviously, you can't stick an SD card in. Yeah, and, you um, can add, really like a, you. add like a 200 gig micro SD or whatever. Yeah. It seems like a lot. But I mean, the but phone, yeah, if you're recording phone video, holds you like it, twice as much as my iPhone. So I'm pretty excited, but I've never mm. done an Android phone. Never had an Android? Wow. No, I've been like, unfortunately, not all fortunately, just I've always yeah. gone, I got like... I, I didn't the get the first iPhone either. I got like yeah. the second or third iPhone, and then I've just had iPhones oh. since then. Until my current phone, I'd always been Android. Right. Because I'm a poor man. And what Can't happened? Afford iPhones. Oh, because um, well, then what happened was my friend of mine works at um, EE, and they can give me a 60% friends and family discount. <gasps> so I was like, yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll get an iPhone for 60% off. Sure. Holy shit, that's a big discount. Yeah. So um, so switched. Also, is that is that in order to like encourage them to like be used to like using the phones and stuff or like? I don't well, know, they, I mean, she gets her phone for free. Oh, is she? I'd, yeah. Oh. Mm. Um, Sounds like more than a friend. <laughs> 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 so um, yeah, they give her one for free, and then she can have like these five tickets that she gives out to friends and family. For so she sold account. you one. Shh! They're not allowed to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean that. I mean, I don't, I don't know her surname. Um, I know okay. her eBay username, <laughs> so I'm going to say we're friends. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I couldn't really turn up the the huge discount. Plus, um, I got an iPad, and then like the, there's some nice functionality with iPhones and iPads, like sharing apps and info and stuff. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to miss because I've got an iPad. But then again, I realised I don't actually use it like like that many apps and that much functionality. And what I do use, I fucking hate now. Like, iTunes is shit. Yeah, Apple is just getting worse every year. Isn't it? iTunes like, is just the worst program ever created. It's got so many things wrong with it. Mm. I mean, sure, I could probably install something else and use it, but. Like, I don't know, I've just... I have tried other ones, but... Oh, man, it's just so frustrating. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna see if I can plug that in and figure it out. But I feel like a um, bit like a granddad, like, not willing to try new stuff a little bit. Do, do, do you know what I mean? Like, guys. Look this, at our little this, dolls this guy's, in a row. this guy's being naughty. He's like, what? What's going on? Why are you all looking over there? Okay. 
get in line, <laughs> X-Wing Pilot 42. If anyone's going to get in line, it's X-Wing Pilot 42. I think yeah, he man. follows his orders. Yeah, I'll snap to X-Wing Pilot. All right. Anywho. Um, mm. Here we go. Mission 3. Dun, dun, dun. Final Teleth mission, Alien City Level 3. Hmm. The end is in sight. From here on in, we are searching for the crypt of the ultimate alien. Oh, is this Cthulhu? This is Cthulhu. He slumbers in Teleth. Destroy the eight power feeds f to the tomb to finish off the alien threat. Don't give up now. A boarding will terminate the mission. This is it. This is do or die, boys. Lewis and Ben save the world, or Lewis and Ben doom the world. Cthulhu eats the world. So should we do a roll call? Doop, 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 here we go. doop, doop, doop. Look, we got Ax Axis K. Report in in chat. Are you, you here? Are you here, Axis K? He's in chat. Yeah, I've seen him. Sweet. You're in. We got uh, DM38 Chump. I think that was named by someone in chat, but he named him a, a comedy name, Different not name. expecting him. And with a really cool backstory. So <laughs> yeah. he's, he's a cyborg He's robot. a cyborg from the future, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. He's the Terminator. He was basically, he's designated Chump. Mm -hmm. And he's, unfortunately, like, his future skills. But he's actually out. a really good psycho. Well, that's because the, the, a, the psychic mind control stuff in this... Is computer based, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Yeah. It's so like, he just um, accesses their um their he implants. He like hacks the Wibson. The Wibson. The Gibson. The Gibson. <laughs> the Gibson. <laughs> the Gibson. <laughs> hack, hack, and the main and splices the mainframe. Yeah. Sweet. Um, <laughs> yeah. Spice the mainframe. <laughs> spice it. We we'll have to put some salt on it. Oh, spice it up real good. We got a uh, classic six dicks Joe. Mm. He's I'm pretty up. sure he's in there, and I've, I'm not sure his name is correct um, due to the fact that he was like originally four dicks Joe, Joe yeah, and I, then he was five dicks Joe. I can't remember how many dicks the first Joe had. I mean, he was Probably he is famously he was in a famous porno with Lady Killjoy. There, Ooh. I watched that one. Wow, six! You could do a lot with six dicks. You, I bet you can. Where do you reckon all his dicks are? Uh. Well, I think he sets one of them into this thing. There's one on his hand. He's got two, one on each, two, two on each hand. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, so he's what, he's like this. Yeah. He's got two on each hand. Ooh. Well, that's fine. And then <laughs> two, it's fine. Then two down there. <laughs> that's just fine. <laughs> sure. Well, you. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an innocent man. Man. Right. Next. Surely he has one up here. No, 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 no. Don't be silly. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've been silly. How would we be able to suck all the dicks if he had a dick on his own head? Oh, has he got to suck all his own dicks? No, he has to suck some dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be six dicks, Joe, and not suck at least one dick. Well, yeah, but probably just not the one on his head. Like anyway, um, Petrozov is in chat. Um, I've seen Petrizov. him as well. He's good, a good. good. Guy. We got um, Sura the Death. Sura the Death is here with He's all the made master it to bombs. the final fucking mission, unbelievably enough. What a hero. What a legend. Um, uh, ethos. Despite despite your t attempts to kill this guy, I have not tried to kill three, him. Six, four, yeah, he is still alive. Uh, I don't know whether this is like a reference to Ethos Lab, which is a big oh, YouTuber, yeah. or whether it is actually Ethos Lab the YouTuber, or whether it's just a guy who has the same name. I, don't but I always know. think Ethos. It's like, a number got a relevance rather than Eth, but it could be Ethos. Um, it probably is. I don't know. Maybe it's like a rule. Yeah. So there you go. Prodmanda Surya Death is here. He's reporting. Thank you. Nice. Next. Um, Who's up next? We got um, X-wing pilot, pilot Forty Two. Don't in know the if he's in chat. I haven't seen him. Next. Uh, Prodder Eisen H. Just a random chat member who yeah. seems to have got just in. Just somehow made it in. Yeah. Really, it just comes down to sometimes. How though, some of these do. donations like weren't necessarily even for us. Like some of these might be Rizian, like Rizian viewers, or they like, could be like <laughs> yeah, just random true. people who like donated yeah. at the wrong time, or just one, just random viewers. So like an early know, Dutchman. It could have been a random guy out of chat on the time. Got um, Jobo Joe. Jobo I feel Joe. Like he's around as well. I'm pretty sure I saw I him. Seen him today. Around. Yeah, all right. Well, I think most of chat is back at base, like just cheerleading, that's w watching true. it on, most the, of on chat the live stream. Hasn't made it to this final mission. Yeah, Jobo Joe, see, he's in chat. He's in chat. Oh, hey, yeah, Jobo Joe. Uh, next, we got uh, uh, we've got Mark, Mark Chen. Chen. Oh, I saw Coheed. He's in base crew. Um, Mark Chen's definitely in chat. He he did a donation. Do you want me to see if I can find it? Uh, sure. I'll, take, um, take I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. You go to the next one. Okay. Uh, Captain Cools. Captain Cools, he did a donation today for the final stream. Let's hope that Captain Cools and the rest of the squad will be victorious over the aliens. Yeah. Loved watching this, by the way. Thank you, Cools. You're the best. Good stuff. Um, man, this has been a really, it's been a really good interactive stream. 
Uh, Bottle Gnomes donated a hundred bucks and said the wow. final battle. It was a fun ride. Bottle Gnomes was a key agent yeah. for getting us here. Well, he was Battle Gnomes for a while. He died in several his, times. His alternate form. <laughs> Battle Gnomes. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like we're. Mate, wrong. Do you remember when Simon's robot um, in Yogg's Quest was like a janitor and then it turns into like the Mega Gun Bot? Mm-hmm. That's what Bottle Gnomes is. He's he's friendly little Bottle Gnomes until shit hits the fan. And then he transforms into battle gnomes. Battle gnomes. And like rocket launchers come out of his shoulders and shit. I'm excited. That's uh, part of XCOM lore. Thank you so much, battle gnomes. Uh, Deacon has snaked. He's the dropship, by the way. He says... Uh, oh, yeah. Dropship Deacon here. Finished the final exam for my degree. Mm -hmm. While my brave, fleshy comrades finish the fight. Oh, God. Of course, they all go inside him. So oh, of course they do. He's full of fleshy men. Yeah, anyway. he is. Next year, I'll be Deacon, master of research. Good luck, chumps and chumpettes. Thank you, Deacon. You're the best. Um, Suro says, It is time, Commander. <laughs> Suro, the prop mander, are ready to lead the boys into the final alien. Lead them into the alien. <laughs> I love Suro. You Ciro's want to special. be in him. It's so good. Oh, Suro, thank Cobb you. Cobmander. Thank you, Cobmander. Uh, Mark Chen says, Fantastic. Remember, it's not the world you're fighting for, but the buddy by your side that keeps yes. you moving forward. The blood of the bro and sis that tried their best, which will watch us from heaven. So, yeah. Wow. It's an honor to serve with you all. Onwards towards greater depth. Onwards towards greater depth. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll go through some of these as well in a second. Cool. Uh, do you want to keep going? So, who else we going? got? We got uh, Blueberry Birdie. Oh, Blueberry Birdie. One of, our, one of my finest soldiers and the coolest name. Um... But and actually, probably one of our best. I've not psychers. necessarily seen them around in chat. I don't know if it was. This I is, haven't this, seen these. This is for one of the people who maybe went missing. But I mean, a lot of people don't join us until Sips finishes stream. Oh, that might so be we it. get like you know the second wave mm. at like six o'clock. Mm. So maybe and sometimes you get lucky. Oh man, I like Blue Birdie. She's, she's been like a highlight of my yeah my streams. Um, Patricia's eight oh eight is also a legend. Classic. I remember I remember I think that's not his first character either, probably. Probably not. Well done. We got um, R. McClellan. R. McClellan. <laughs> We've talked about him already. Yeah, we have. Uh, uh, why wait. that? Well, he was like a new guy who had. Yeah, up. he hasn't been here very long. Why is he so good? Well, he was a triple X p potential guy. Remember, he oh, was, he snuck in under the bar. He didn't did. He? He's under the bar in terms of like accuracy. His accuracy is only sixty-four, but I think he's improved himself. His accuracy, his uh, reaction's pretty damn good. Yeah, he's improved himself a lot, and yeah. he made it in triple X, and he's good on a little him. bit like I met. And you have to prove yourself. Yeah, right. You have to prove you can do it. And so we took him in as a cadet and no one proved him. And then someone gave him a chance. I was like, I'll give you a chance. And he's proved me right. <laughs> he's made it through. Who's next? Badger it's King. Badger King. Uh, I King think of I've all seen badgers. him in, in, in chat as well, actually. So high five to you, dude. Uh, I see Chinstrap18 <laughs> in chat. He's he's definitely um, a member of our team. But I don't think so he's on this mission. Loads of guys in chat are saying, Vod Squad, Vod Squad represent. But... You can't be VOD Squad Pod. represent if you're not. If, if you're, you're in chat, if you're right in chat, now. you're. you're yes, yeah, he fluffs gets it. VOD Squad scum. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not scum. Get just, out of here, VOD Squad scum. If you're if you're in chat, you're not a VOD Squad, are you? You're your live crew. Oh, it's not why that war. It's why Wyeth at war. Wyeth at war. Wyeth at war. Not why that war. I always say why that war. Well, but that's Wyeth at war. Shit. Vod well, Squad takeover. See. Vod Squad scum. <laughs> Get out of here, you Vod Squad chumps. Um, <laughs> by the way, last week we had um, the, the Tarek died. Do you remember? Yes. To a blaster bomb accident. In the incident. Uh, which we're not talking about. He says, Hello, commanders, I may have died. I may have died. Oh, I, oh dear, I may have died. Uh, but I didn't want you to know. I have absolute faith in you. I didn't want you to know. I have absolute what? faith in you. I guess you did want. He did uh, want. Hopefully, that. that's a typo. P.S. I managed to save the some Lady Killjoy VHS tapes <laughs> with my charred body. <laughs> oh, the ultimate sacrifice! You looted will like not a be bunch forgotten. of Lady Killjoy porn off your uh, off your dead body. Man, thank you. Um, oh, that's hilarious. All right, what else we got? Um, keep it, keep it going. Keep it going okay, then. let's keep going. Who else? Uh, we got Space Burrito, Burrito is, our most delicious squad member. He is in chat and who says, always never makes forget me hungry. the chumps who died to get you here, boys. 07, never forget. Space Burrito, fucking represent. Represent. Um, Chew Butter. Chew Butter 
he's 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 he's, he's in the final mission. He's Man, a, he's, he's been a, around for ages. He's been a long, long running. He's a long running team. guy. Yeah, he's good. Look his accuracy. He can really shoot now, can't he? He's done a lot of shots. He's got a lot of kills. I think it's a shame we can't look at. Like, I know, get the full start. Yeah, the full the full breakdown. We'll have to wait till after, I guess. Yeah. Um, Wonder if we get to see like a final. Does it kick us if we win? Does it kick us back to the main menu? I don't or know. Just say you win. We could load up like an older save and look through I'd the like memorial. I'd like to know how many kills he's had. Yeah, me too. Next, Commander Ben. Clearly. The greatest of all soldiers. This is what you'll look like if you start yeah. going to the gym. Well, will I lose my hair? Solar powered sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna say that now to Pyrian. And your your personal trainer. My personal trainer's not bald. Oh, shame. That would have been grade A ribbon. Oh, what did I say to my personal trainer today? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I said something. <laughs> oh fuck, I can't remember. Wait, wait, and he didn't laugh. It was all good. <laughs> Does he ever laugh? I made a joke. I can't remember what it was. It was just something that just came out of nowhere, and he uh, really didn't think it was funny. Oh well. Shit. I'm gonna have to find a new one. Um, so, still perfect. The perfect shot. The perfect leader. The perfect man. The perfect man. The perfect body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, followed and up me. by his faithful sidekick, <laughs> <laughs> Grenadier Sponge it's, Lewis. It's like I said last time, though. It's Neville Chamberlain and with Churchill. Churchill. You know, I'm doing the stuff. You're getting, you're filling out the forms. You're the general, mm -hmm. and I am the prime minister. I'm doing the civilian stuff. And right. You're doing the war stuff. Cool. That'd be why there's like, you know, so many statues and like books written about Neville Chamberlain. Yeah. He was under. Uh, he was a good man. People sure. look down on him and say he was weak and tried to I pacify mean, really, Hitler. Really, all he's remembered for is is appeasement. He was pe appeasement. That's what I meant. He tried to yeah. give pe peas to Hitler, and Hitler was like, "I don't like peas." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll eat all the peas and then I'll ask for more peas. All <laughs> oh, right, sorry, no, <laughs> that's right. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> He didn't complain about the peas, did he? <laughs> no. he, said, he said, oh, these peas are <laughs> not very good. I, 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 I need more peas now. Those right. were delicious, but give me more. That's right. Uh, Tinicious is Tinicious, still here. Your personal chronicler, uh, you've recording your exploits on her iPad she, for posterity. She is my hot secretary. Nice. She's Tinicious. Mm. I don't know be, how you used got to be the, um, delicious. You see how you got this going on with our keyboards. I don't know either, Ben. I've somehow magicked it out <laughs> of thin that, air. That is true love. <laughs> holding down <laughs> various keys right. at the same time. Um, I was trying to do an umlaut, but that's uh, the best. Well, thing close go. enough. I, that's how I read uh, it. She did a donation, I think. Did she? Yeah, Ricky did this donation. I already read earlier. Tina says we're almost there. I mean, yes, this Ben fellow seems to be telling our chumps to shoot themselves with <laughs> blaster bombs, thus increasing my paperwork when we get back. But we can do this. I'll protect you. Stay close, Louis Bear. Oh, personal bodyguard. Yeah, well, she doesn't actually have a gun, does she? Uh, no, she can't be trusted. She's got a stun bomb in her backpack, just in case. She'll just kick him. But, like, you know, she's size strength 32. She's lucky to be here, I, th I think of her a little bit like the... You know, if you've watched Kingsman? Yes. The, she's the... Secretary woman is there Kingsman. a secretary in Kingsman? Well, she's not really a secretary as much as an assassin. She's got like the, the blade heel blade. Oh, the sword leg. The sword leg woman. Right. So you're you're the evil genius mastermind. I'm, yeah. And she's she like is, your I'm, um, your stabber. She's, yeah. She's well. I'm I'm not evil genius. I'm just normal guy. She's just <laughs> I'm mastermind, but sure. not evil necessarily. Okay. The aliens? Are the aliens not evil? Are we evil? Um, I'm torn. Next. I, yeah. Ricky Toe. We've done him. We've done him. And uh, of Jeff course, my, goes and he's in my, my he guy. He managed to squeeze through it at the expense of some poor chump. I think it was Jin. She didn't make it through. Yeah. But Samuel he's, Jackson he's is, recording uh, my glorious exploits and he's going to write them down on this med pack, um, which also is like a personal assistant. It's like an iPad. Thing. It's like an iPad with drugs attached. It's like um, one of those I'm going to market these after the war. It's like a big... Um, looks like one of those big toasters that they have in in anyway next Ghostbusters. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and then we're back. We're back. Okay, let's go on the this mission. This is it. So uh, that's it, guys. These, this is our team. This is who's going to save the world. It took us a while to get through them, but you know what? There's a lot of them. Uh, Ghost von Clown says had to donate for the final push. Please put the money towards uh, the inevitable XCOM Widows and Orphans Fund. That's oh, right. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that's 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 nice, man. I think these um, donations are bouncing back. Are they repeating? No, they like, I clear them and then it just like they... puts them back again. Oh. Laser Sponge says, Good luck, Commanders. I know you can beat down these alien asses. 
If not, I'll die doing what I do best. Sitting in the base in a corner away from the action. Um, I've super enjoyed these streams. I can't wait to see what you play next. Man, if you like these streams, then I think I'm really glad. Good. Because we've enjoyed them too. Yeah. I mean, it's a real top, top-notch game, isn't it? It's a classic. Um, yeah. Uh, don't just. Yeah. Boof. Sleepy time. Boof. Boof. She's not in chat. <laughs> is, is she a person? Yeah, Boof. You know Boof. I don't know Boof. She's like a. She's like a hot. She's like um. Hot Boof. She's like a. She's like a thing of my fantasies. Wow, how do you know this? Because I've Hi. met you, her in real life. Oh. I know. Do you just assume anyone who has a female sounding name is super hot on the internet? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like that may lead to disappointment. Well, uh, my, my... Ben, I think almost all women are super hot. I don't know about you. Like, like I don't... I mean, like, to me, like, any um, woman is like a 10. No wonder you played so much World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, beauty is, 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 is skin deep. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, oh, I don't, I don't, you know. I, I don't know, explain. I'm not very good at, 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 at picking hot ones, you know? Right. I can't tell you. I, I don't. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm saying every, every lady is beautiful in their own way. Okay. Is, what about man's? Are Same man's, with man's pretty. No, actually, some some men are very much not not good looking. Oh shit! Double standards. Really I fun. am. Yeah. Well, that's just how I how I roll. It's just how you feel. Yeah. Say it like you see it. Yeah. Um. So look. What is happening to me? This is like some kind of weird dungeon. Like the, it's not um, like any of the other bases. You know how all the other alien bases are like these weird pulsing organic, like walls, with like progenitors and egg sacs and shit. Yeah, and like sibians and yeah, you know, sex things. So what the fuck is this? This is like their dungeon at the bottom. Plumbuses. This oh plumbuses. The plumbi. Yeah. So many plumbi. They're useful plumbi. Yeah, you need They're a bit of plumbi. Everyone needs a plumbi. Have you played it's like the a key element of? Uh, the Rick and Morty VR. Yeah, she didn't know what a plumbus was, I think. What? Yeah, I what mean, a noob. Come on. How do you not know what a plumbus does? I saw um, some Rick and Morty this morning, actually. Did like you? They, they did a like a 40 second spoof of um, Alien, Alien Covenant. What, the new movie? Yeah. Is it, it really bad? Uh, well, it's fine. I mean, it's 40 seconds, you know, how can it be? But um, it was funny. Well, no, the alien oh, the movie. movie. Everyone says it's bad. I haven't seen it yet. Everyone I've spoken to said it was... Well, actually, everyone who's... In, I spoke to a couple of people, and they said it was the worst movie they've ever seen, and they laughed throughout it. <laughs> wow. Well, there was a moment where they started laughing, and they couldn't stop. Oh, shit. And they, it was it's just, a bad time it was for just a horror a, movie, a good, it? bad movie. Oh. And then... Some other people said, oh, yeah, it was really good. And I was oh, like... Oh, shit. Oh. And then I did dug a little deeper. Right. And the people who said it was really good had never seen the originals. Oh, my God. How how can you say you like movies and not watch, like, the original well, aliens? this is it, isn't it? Like, one and two are two of the best sci-fi movies of, movies of all time. Well, this is it. I mean, so they I, were like... They were like a face hugger? That's disgusting! Oh my god, I've never seen anything like it! Wow. I'm like, well... Have you not even, like, had it ruined in many spoofs? Like, it's such a, a it classic is, thing it? now. Like, like, it's like trying to watch Top Gun and take it seriously. Because You'd, like, how turn many on Channel Top 4 and there'd be, like, the hundred top horror mo movie moments, you know, and they would yeah. totally spoil the whole thing, you know? Yeah. How we, could you not Like, surely, like, now? The Simpsons has done it a million times. I mean, I don't... Everything. I've never played Pokemon, but I could name you, like... Yeah, I could name you, like, 50 five. Pokemon. This, this Squidgy Bop... Flip, 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 flop. Yeah, they're all like animals. They're like horn, hornus. Yeah, and S squirty boy, and, and the dino fish face, dino tail. Yep, and like, but there's loads of ones <laughs> that are also just like objects, like yeah, clock breasts <laughs> yeah. and sponge baths <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fucking. Dildo fingers. <laughs> yeah. There's loads of them. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. Superion really ripped off dildo fingers with his dildonians, didn't he? Yeah. So Pokemon did it first. Fuck's sake, Perion. I cannot believe you could be... You could not really understand what Alien is, even if you haven't seen it. Like, it's like not knowing that, like, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. Like, even if what? you've never seen Star Wars, 
you know that. Yeah, I mean, even like the whole thing is like, pff, it's not even that bad of a like spoiler if you know it doesn't really ruin the film. It's, it, I mean, that thing is though, Star Wars did sort of start this trend of everyone in movies having to be related somehow. Yeah, which kind of sucks. Like everyone in anything has to. Like one of the big revelations in anything is like, I'm your ex. And it feels like every film, someone's related to someone, and like the world, it makes the world feel smaller. Like I didn't like it that um, Luke and Leia were brother and sister. Uh, it felt unnecessary. Um, it really, it did. It was totally unnecessary. It, apparently, it wasn't in the original script. They added that at the last minute. Right. Um, originally, when uh, it, when they were writing. Well, they were filming Return of the Jedi, and Yoda says, there's another. Um, which, it, you know, we now know he's referring to Leia. But originally, um, there was another Jedi on the other side of the galaxy that was being trained up by someone else. Oh. As like a backup if Luke died or went evil. All right. And then late in the process of Return common. of the Jedi... It's a common thing for them to go evil. They, um, You'd think they'd figure out a way around it, but no, it just sort of happens. Just Sometimes happens. people just turn into fucking dickbags. Yeah, well, you know, power corrupts. Absolute power yeah. corrupts absolutely. Yeah, this is true. You might want to mind control that lobster man. Yeah. There at some point. Oh, well. There's plenty, plenty of time. Well, before you... Yeah, you can is meet this, people who don't have mind control. Is this map another little, like, straight, straight route? That is why they kissed. Yeah, because they kiss in um, they kiss in all the films, apart from Return of the Jedi. So they, yeah, because they were meant to be brother and sister. And then like George Lucas was like, oh, everyone loved the Darth Vader Luke Skywalker thing. Let's do that again. Um, it was just like a twist added for twist's sake. Maybe just stun, stun it. Yeah. Boom! Sleepy time. Oh, it's not sleepy time. Just head out there and reload it. Uh, not enough time units. Um, yeah, but well, it's probably best I don't start on this rant because I could talk about Star Wars for forever. Yeah, forever. yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll save it for another time. Um, uh, so yeah, so should I just like, if someone tells me the Alien Covenant was good, should I just like remove them from my life and not trust their opinions anymore? Yeah, think? is that is that what we've agreed? Yeah. Slider Miser says. Hey, Commanders. Hey, Commanders. Hey, Commander. I heard the Sips has been sending Sam Gibbs a message for every shitty, shitty little problem he has. Now I feel really sorry for Sam and wanted to tip him 10 units of your royal credits. Oh, Please man. make sure this reaches him. Hashtag Sam tips. Sam, t is Sam, is Sam you listening? I don't know, it might be Steve now. What time is it? This, we're around switchover time. This switchover time means that no one's here. <laughs> yeah. Sam left early, Steve got in late. We're on our own. <laughs> yeah, it's like there was this dodgy <laughs> little hand over time. Yeah. No, I'm only joking. Yes, thank you. Um, I don't think that Sam does get bothered by Sibs with every little shitty little problem. I think that that's an exaggeration. I think sometimes you exaggerate for funnies, don't you? Yeah, I think that that, that I would... Sips and, if anything, Sips and Pyrian are too... Mm. Uh, Independent, and they yeah. do their own things when they shouldn't. It's like, you know, Pyrrhon's like, oh, I ordered a whole new sound setup, and did, did loads of research, and ordered it, set it all up myself. And I'm like, we do have yeah. like a full-time audio engineer here who could just literally could send you one email, literally could have sent you the shit that you need, <laughs> and even come over and well, that's what we're here for. Isn't set it? it up like that's our that's our whole point of existence. Yeah, to make these guys like able to make content easily and not have to take a day out of their schedule to like fiddle around and worry about it. Anyway. So yeah, you can't bother Sam. I said you can't bother Sam enough. So yeah. if Sips Although been... Sam is like the busiest man in the Yogs. Sam, Sam does have an incredibly huge amount of work to do. Yeah. Um, um, but he does it like a champ. And he's the best. It, he is the best. We love him. Because um, we've got the new office coming up, so, so he's he's been busy so like um, mapping out where all the cables are going to go. It's it's wonderful to have like so many like talented people here. It's a good problem to have, isn't it? Yeah. Too many talents. Too many. Too, mu too much good stuff. It's never bad. So, it feels at this point like mind control might be a bit OP. Do you know what I mean? Well, it does feel like it does feel like, like that a little bit, but at the same time, fuck these guys. Where are you going with this I, guy? I'm scouting. Hmm. I'm gonna find where the enemies are. There's no one here. This is creepy as fuck, though. Look, like, there literally could be a brain there. There could be a brain there. There could be a brain here. There could be brains here, here, here. It's a good thing we've got these lobster and scouts. Yeah. Fucking brains. 
fucking brains. Uh, oh, we got a deep one. Is that what it is? Can we? We can could we control we deep ones. We can. Yeah, we got one before, didn't we? We can get deep ones. Cool. Oh, hello, hello. How much did it cost to fire this thing? Twenty-five. Cool. Boop. Boop. Oh, I like the deep ones. You like a deep? Give me the old. Give me the old deep, deep ones. Auto speed. Give him some deep love in. Oh, it feels nice to be doing that. <laughs> yeah. The other way. I know, man. There's, do you know how many guys did we lose to that in the early so game? So many. It was like the number one killer. <sighs> this is just us like getting a revenge bin, though. I it feel is. Like it's, I feel like this is like, like finally revenge porn. It is. It's finally like the shoe is on the other foot, and when we are so fucking them with that shoe. Um. Yeah. What were uh, we talking about? I can't remember. Fuck it. Uh, right, I'm gonna try and um, burrow my way through this wall because we don't want everyone in the Superman train. Boshi Modo says, uh, "Good luck with the final mission." Thank Thanks you very man. much, friend. And so does Monarch Supreme. He says, um, he "says Hey lads, it's the final effort. Don't screw it up." We'll try not to. Try. Krell. Krell. Thanks for suiciding me, assholes. <laughs> Chance8687 says, Good luck, Commanders. Every person on the planet is depending on you. Mm. No pressure. No pressure. Watty McWattface what? says, Vod Squad, unite! Vod Squad! Ben, best commander of you, good luck. Um, Thanks, man. Remember that time when Pempusher Lewis almost killed the run by putting all the guns on the ship seconds before a base attack? Oh, Pepper. yeah. That was good. Oh, will you guys try to be XCOM Apocalypse on Superhuman Kappa? Probably not. We tried it, didn't we? we? Well, we didn't try Superhuman, but we had a little fiddle with Apocalypse a few weeks ago. Yeah, we and, did. Um, we just didn't enjoy it as much. What are you doing? I'm trying to burrow through the wall. Don't shoot it. Oh. No, it's stuck down. It's fine. It's like a little firing line. Beep, beep. Yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? Just, just need more guns. Did so you take out that middle one? Why is that middle one black? I don't know. It's like it's out of line of sight. I don't really understand. It's weird, isn't it? I'll give it another turn. I'll get two shots apiece because now they're not moving. Yeah. And if ten more shots doesn't bring it down, then I'll fuck it off. Right. Sack it off. Yeah. Suck it off. I'll suck it all off. Just suck that off. Um, Cam Shredder says, have my f last final for my undergraduate... Jeez, I'm very weird today. Have my last final for my undergraduate degree in two hours' time. Whoa! What are you doing watching us? What Holy are you doing shit? having your final at 7pm? I Probably in another country. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe in America. Yeah. America, oh, see you yeah. in the vods. Love you guys. Drew the Malians. Thank you, Camp Shredder. Uh, Oleon says, Hey guys, was thinking about starting to play Age of Sigma or oh. 40k. Boo. Which one do you guys recommend? Well, there's a new edition of 40k out in literally three weeks, so maybe wait till that's out before okay. you decide. Is that... Um, what do you mean new edition of 40k? They're completely changing all the rules of 40k. There's a new rule book coming out. That it's, everything's working completely differently. All the books are now going to be invalid. Like It's a complete fresh start for 40k. So it's probably the worst time to get into it. Are they keeping all the existing models and armies? Yes. Um, but don't buy any 40k books because they're literally not. They're going to be worthless in like three weeks. Right. Um, so I can't really recommend because I don't know what the new rules are like or if it's a good game because I'm not out yet. Um, but you don't like Age of Sigma. No, Age of Sigma can get fucked. Why don't you like it? Because it's different to what I like. Yeah, I mean that's not a bad. Reason <laughs> to not like it Have you ever had a, a like a classic computer game you loved? And like, imagine if the new XCOM that came out a few years back was just nothing like this XCOM. Like it was a real time first person. Imagine the bureau, XCOM bureau, the bureau. Like. How did you feel about the Bureau when it came out and called itself an XCOM game? I suppose it's the same thing with Alien Covenant, new Alien movie. Mm. You know, how do I feel about that? Bad is how I feel about it. Yeah. It's like Age of Sigmar, they, they blew up the universe. But like, what's something that you do love? Like, 
imagine what they, they do a new World of Warcraft game, right? You can't play the old one anymore, and in the new one, all the worlds are destroyed, all the characters are dead, here's some new world, new characters you're meant to care about. Sounds good. You, you, you up for that? Yeah, I am actually. Shit. Man, maybe you love Age of Sigma, then go for it. Maybe, you know, don't Well, I think I got bored with Warhammer. And... Oh, I didn't. I was still enjoying it. Were you? I was. I, I used to go to tournaments. I used to... What, of this? Of the old Warhammer? Yeah. Well, it's not like it doesn't exist anymore. Well, you can't play it anymore. Why not? Because everyone's playing Age of Sigma. Well, that, maybe that's because it's better. <laughs> it's, it's... it's not. When it was first released, there were no points values for any of the units. Right. The rules literally said, just put whatever you want on the table. I have twice as many models as you, so I guess I'll just put twice as many models down. And um, we'll and see what happens. points values for any of the units? Nope. Took them two years to make points value for the units. It was literally like you couldn't just have a pick up and play game with a stranger at a this, club. This wall is not going to break down. You're just wasting ammo. It's not, is it? I mean, what are, you, what are you even doing? Well, I just don't want to follow this, like, linear path through all the booby traps. I thought maybe if I could just bust through here, like, do a shortcut. You need to mind control that thing. Yeah. Um... If anyone's got any time units left after shooting all the guns at the wall. <laughs> we reach the final base of the alien compound, and the first thing you do is just fire all of our guns at the walls. Well, you know... Why should I take the path they're, they're choosing for me? Yeah. Take my own path. Go ahead. We've Forge your own way. Boop. We got that guy. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I mean, they've added points values now, but like... I don't know. So just not the game. It's a completely different game. Where is the door? I'm not interested. Um, I think this is... This is there's That's no it. door in this room. Is there one in this room? Maybe. Could you click? Like Maybe I can blast a bomb a hole in the wall. Oh, hello. Well, there's a target. Okay, what it's did like, you do that one? Uh, yeah. But I don't want it to hit. I want to hit the actual wall and kill him in the blast. Fuck it. I can, I can mind control him. It's fine. Let's just shoot there. Oh, jeez. That just scraped, like, the plaster off the walls. Hmm. Wow. That doesn't look promising, does it? No, maybe you can't shoot through walls in this level. Hmm. Okay, well, let's run this guy back to, like, start the mind control chain again next turn. And... Hmm. <laughs> Suspicious Nick Cage. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, Ollion says, please add me as a friend on Steam. I'm very lonely. Aww. If you add me as a friend, I'll see if I can see you on my friends list and accept you if I, if I get a chance. I will. I'm pretty lonely on Steam sometimes. Hmm. I need a, always need a friend to play games with. I queued up with some fans on the poker the other day. Oh, yeah. Played a couple of rounds. How'd it go? That was pretty terrible. <laughs> I might see if I can hang out with some people, though. I don't know how I feel about it. I've always been a little bit, like, scared to socialise with, like, our audience. Do you mm. know what I mean? I feel like it's not... I don't want to get involved in that. I, I know what the drama is like with, like, Discord communities and stuff. I don't really want to get yeah. sucked into the whole... So Pyrian... Pyrian had some drama on his, Well, here's he? the thing, right? We went out to Stockholm and um, Pyrian was like, Oh, Munt, Muntkus, who's a good guy, mm -hmm. is coming out to Stockholm as well. And I won't tell you all the details because I want to sort of just not, you know, not find a place to say. But no. um, they, they're cool guys. They're interesting. They're funny guys. And um, I didn't know, like, I think Pyrian knew a couple of them from his streams. Right. And they knew each other from his fan Discord, right? Right. And um, they came out, turned up, they were staying in a, like a hotel room together, which mm -hmm. is obviously tough when there's like four of you staying in the same hotel room. Yeah. And um, we went to this... Paradox took us out to a restaurant. It's like mm -hmm. a buffet place. Yeah. Um, so they just sort of... They, they, they booked out a place. They provided food. And I was like, oh, we can just bring you guys in. Like, Paradox, I wouldn't mind if we bring in, like, four extra guys to, like, go for their buffet. So we invited yeah. them up, and we had got a table, and we had a few drinks and chatted and stuff. Anyway, 
Later on, I find out that there's been all this drama going on between them, and they've like totally fallen out because one of them said something to one of the other ones or whatever. Yeah. It, was, it was just drunken silly and bullshit. Really, but, like, just reminded me of how like, like it's just not worth it. Like the hassle sometimes. I mean, it was the same back in the day. Like WoW guilds and stuff. Our guild was always like you know, full of drama of various kinds. Well, it's, it's any kind of online community. There's always it some, happens at some point. You know, um, can't be can't be helped. It's kind of inevitable, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's not inevitable. Sometimes it's fine. Mm, maybe. I'm just... mm, well. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, that was just. Well, that's part of, of life, I guess. As long as you don't get sucked into it, then you know it can just happen, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Anywho, thanks, Olion. Um No, so well, Sigma and 40k. Man, I I liked the look of Sigma. I really like the models. I feel like it's a fresh start. I feel like if they if they did it to World of Warcraft and they killed off all the races and they started off a new Age of Sigma in World of Warcraft, I'd be actually totally cool with that. Hmm. I'd be like, fucking thank God, it right. really needed it. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I, maybe you weren't playing it enough that you got... Well, the problem was, I mean, I, the way I was playing it was um, as like a competitive strategy game, not as like a fun thing. Mm. Well, it was fun, but like, I was taking it probably too seriously. Yeah. And the new game, you can't play seriously. Like, um, it's just not balanced and there's not as much strategy involved. That was the deep one. That was the deep one I put there, yeah. You put it up against the wall. Right? <laughs> yeah. Firing squad, that's a bit brutal. It's pretty grim, isn't it? You might want to just have these guys run back and we can prod them next turn. Yeah. I have to send someone into that other room on the right, I think, though. Yeah, I'm just going to get everyone caught up because we're a bit, a bit spread, spread out. out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I mean, they're kind of doing the same with 40k. They've changed the, the background a lot and they're changing the rules yeah, a lot. Just we'll see. see what it's like there. Maybe they've Duck learned their lessons. building a 40k army. And this is like partly mm. what the game's like channel's for. It's for us to like play some fun games like that. I still yeah. really want to do a Necromunda campaign. So, I mean, that's like the game I used to play when I was a kid. Yeah. And so I think having a little bit of a little bit of gang action. Yeah, doing, be doing Because it'll be like, there'll be battles, but there'll also be there's a lot of like dice rolling and chat in between. So mm. I think it would make a good series. That's my dream, is to do that. And then we could do a similar thing with Mordheim as well. Because yeah. Mordheim is just Necromunda, but with... Um, with fantasy stuff. Yeah, I think it would be good. Yeah. I'd really like to do that. Cool. So, maybe yeah, I've started, see um, if we can book out I, yeah, a day. I've started painting up some um, some stuff for that too. Have you? Yeah. What have you painting? Um, they're on my desk, actually. I can show you after. I've been mm. doing some Chaos Marines and Cultists. Because mm. they've, um, they've released um, a, a game called um, Armageddon Shadow War. Which is basically the Necromunda rules, but for all the 40k races. Oh! So you can basically play Necromunda with, you know, Eldar a group, a and little Space group Marines. Of Chaos and stuff. Space Marines. Yeah. Oh man, Chaos Space Marines are cool. I like um, what they call Tyranid um, Cultists. Oh, whatever. the Genius Dealer Cults. Genius they're my favourite thing in the 40k background. Yeah. Um, they're a really cool idea. They're very cool. I mean, they're really obviously based a lot on the Alien movies. Yeah. Which has brought us like full circle. It has a little bit. Um, Suspicious Nick Cage, thank you. Uh, you're the best. Super Harry B says, Hello, Commanders. Long-time member of Vard Squad. Had to catch the final mission live. Yeah. How many people have tuned in for this? Yeah, I don't know. Is it more or less than normal, do you think? Uh, probably more. I mean, the YouTube video will get more, for sure. You put Finale on the end of that thing and woo! Oh, Cha-ching, baby. Get like... them views. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's like clickbait or something, I don't know. Damn views! So there's no mind control. Oh. Although I think a lobster <laughs> man Shit. came up behind Petrozov no, and stunned, stunned himself. stunned himself and Petrozov. Yeah. We're lucky he only had a stun bomb. Oh, where did he come from? I don't know. Is there where like a door somewhere? Where did he come from? Six Dicks Joe. I'm going to check Is it there out there a door personally. at the end of that corridor? Um, yeah, there. I don't think so. Tina Schuss, check it out. Tina? Oh! Yeah. There's something there. What is it? Is it a deep It's one? a lobsterman. Is it a lobsterman? Yeah, he's just holding a gun. <laughs> Jobo. No, oh, no, that's a medkit. That won't work. Why is he holding a medkit instead of a. Um, yeah, it's a lobster. Can you just click somewhere to see if it's a path to it? And at the next room? See what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's that it's way around. It's all that way, isn't it? God, there's so many little hidey holes on this map. It's making me scared to, like, go anywhere. 
It must be that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the way. Um. Right. So I need a med kit to like revive Ko Boy. Uh, Azarth says good luck from Werewolf Industries. Hope you come back safely. If not, we can use your body parts to build some new top of the line cyber wargs. Wow. Cyber wargs. Sounds good. Sounds good. Make uh, it so. Is the donation thing broken? By the yeah, way, they, is it cycling around again? Yeah, it keeps like refreshing all of the all of them. Uh, mm. Chocolate Chocobo says, "Vaz Squad reporting in. Good luck, Commanders. O seven. Have yourselves a few well-earned beers, regardless of how Save the World ends up." <laughs> oh man, they can either be commiseration beers or celebration beers. Like sad crying. Tears in your beers. Yeah. Tears for beers. Tears for beers. Is that a band? Probably. Um, what was that other band we mentioned? China, China in your hand. Was that you and me who just uh, mentioned that? Maybe. I can't remember. Uh, sometimes we just we talk a lot of shit, yeah. and it just goes around in circles. <laughs> yeah. um, chocolate, chocolate, bow, pod squad, represent. Um, Bunny, ZX. Bunnies, bunnies, ZX. Hey, Lewis and Ben. Lewis and Ben. Lewis and Ben. I'm. You South African? It's I'm okay. So tired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm tired. I shouldn't be. You've I, been recording like a madman. And I went to the gym yesterday and today. And then you you and were, go tomorrow. And as you well. went to Sweden. Like traveling is tiring. Yeah. You've been busy. That's why you're tired. I know. You need to take it easy, man. I paid the deposit and rent for my new flat. Ooh, that'll tire you it out. Was, it was. It was. And those fucking agency two, fees. Two and a half grand. How can they get away with charging such crazy agency fees when all they do is literally show you around the, the place once? The agency fee was only like a hundred pounds, but yeah, like it was still a lot. But yeah, so the deposit, I think, so I had to pay like, was it like, why don't you have to pay like one month's, like, one Some, month's rent plus yeah. like one plus month's deposit, I think it was like something like that. One right, and a half month's deposit. Jeez. Like, something like that. That's yeah, a lot of money. Two and a half grand. That's a lot. Man, moving house is the worst. I, I know, like, oh god, yeah, I'm, I'm paying like slightly less for this new place than the old place, um, but it's not, it's tiny, it's much smaller. Mm. I'll have to have like a house for me. Yeah, that'd be cool. But it's literally, it'll be good, because so, all the time, like, when you have these housewarming parties, everyone just hangs around in the kitchen. Always. But my kitchen is too tiny for anyone to stand in reasonably, oh, so they'll have to stand in the other room. Which is the one room into the house, <laughs> the <lounge>. right? <laughs> but this day they like uh, they're like part of like the same room as well. Okay. So like, but the kitchen's like behind a little kind of. It's like it's like my new flat is not a flat. It's like a basement. Um, it's a basement like it's like a basement of an old house that got converted into. Oh uh, right, okay. A flat, if you like, it was yeah. one of these big townhouses that they split into levels. Mm -hmm. So you can still you can still get like. They're like millions of pounds, though, to buy like a townhouse in Clifton. Yeah, so I've crazy got like expensive. the basement level. Um, oh man, jetpacking over the uh, over the man train. Um, I've talked about it variously, but yeah, yeah. it's like it's, I'm looking forward to it actually because you know you have to look forward to these things. And new office. Well, it'd be good once you moved in. Yeah. Um, so you've actually moved further away from the the office, right? Oh my god, whatever you do, don't go slamming doors in a new place. Oh my god, he knows about that. Oh, yeah. Of course, because I find creepy next door neighbour. Your, your, man, your noise phobic neighbour. Super neighbor. salty about the noise. What's wasn't he? He moved out, though. And I'm, uh, did I tell you, like, some other people moved in? Oh, right. From Zimbabwe. Oh, cool. And um, I, like, said hi to them one day, and they were like, oh, hello, you should, you should come around one time. So I was like, okay, not expecting them to actually invite yeah, me again. Yeah, it's been polite. And then I saw them again, and... Um, they were like, they were like, oh yeah, we sh we should come round. I was like, oh yeah, okay. And they were like, well, how about next Thursday? And I was like, okay. So then I actually did go round and we had a chat. And it was nice. They were oh, very nice. Cool. And we got to know each other a little bit. It is actually nice to know your neighbours and not just like ignore them as you walk past. Yeah, it was it was nice. And so yeah, I didn't know. I felt felt like it was a good bit of community. Oh Sometimes shit! Sometimes you don't have super loads of community. Brain spotted. Hold your horses. We got a brain. Got a brain here. Wow. Sleepy time. For everyone. Sleepy time for everybody. 
Hey, everybody, it's sleepy time. Sleepy time. Come on, Tina. She's Up not Prodder. What's she doing in front? I don't know. It's just kind of how it's happened. Um... I feel like there's no mind control here, so these guys could probably have guns. You're right. We haven't been hit by a single, um, single thing, have we? Sponges, arm yourselves. Um... Who's got a med kit round here? Because we've got a sleepy guy on the floor. Oh, well, Petrozob is asleep. Petrozob is asleep. Can't have him sleep through the final mission. Someone go uh, wake him up. Why not? He deserves it. He's worked hard. <laughs> um, who else would go up? Yeah, go there. So yeah, Bunny ZX says, You pronounced my ro name wrong last week. It's oh. Bunny ZX. The Z and the X are separate. To be honest, I don't care. <laughs> I love you. Sounds like you do care. So you wrote a whole message just to tell us that. She says, and I'm assuming it's a she, because yeah. she has the name Bunny. Sure. Um, I fell asleep halfway through last week's stream. Oh, shit. So I have no idea what happened in the end. Well, However... It was on YouTube. Uh, have some of my birthday money. Oh, Aww, thank you. Thank you, Bunny. Um, Azeron says... Ever seen a crab shimmy, Jimmy? <laughs> Uh, Rubber Knife um. says, some, here's some water money for Thirsty Thirsty Lewis. Oh. Thirsty. Can you not get enough of that water? Yeah. Am I drinking it? Am I, am I swallowing it? I don't know. You tell me, man. Do you spit or swallow water? I both, depending on my mood. Ooh. At the same time. <laughs> uh, JK Quinn says, when are we going to see Yogg's Quest 4? Uh, when... Tom and I have written it. <laughs> when Tom gets on with it, he's yeah. supposed to be doing it. It's like the one it's, to, it's, he has. He has agreed. To, he has agreed to do it. We're probably going to do it when we move office. Actually, yeah, because we've got a cool new um, set near near that new office. So while the new office is being set up, we're going to be moving desks and computers and all that shit out of this office into the new office. So mm -hmm. on those couple of days, I think we're going to rent. A studio nearby and do a couple of days of your quest recording because yeah. we kind of agreed to do it for um, someone finally agreed to, to pay us to make it yeah <laughs> Which was always the dream wasn't it well not so much that but more like we they someone wanted us to make a bunch of videos so we were like Okay, how about the Yogg's Quest? And they were like, okay, whatever mm. you want to do. And we're like, Yogg's Quest. And they're like, okay, well, that's that's cool then. Cool. So, yeah, that's going to happen. So Yogg's Quest 4 is going to happen. Take, we'll do it in a couple of days. It'll be good. Yeah, it'll be really good. It'll be in the next few weeks or so, and then we'll start putting it out um, as soon as we can, really. But, yeah, yeah, it takes a long time to edit that stuff on top of the regular content. feels like, yeah, like our editing and, and the skills in the, in the studio are very, very good. And they're on top of everything, super on top of everything. And we are lazy we are as balls. Why are you exposing to reaction fire from this guy? That is a good point. You know what? I think psychics have made me lazy. I think I'm losing my edge because of easy, lazy psychics. It has. Psychics have made you... It's going to change the world now that we can use psychic powers. I know. What is the world going to be like after the war? How after... Does... Because anyone could just mind control anyone and do stuff. Yeah, we well, have to have the implant, I suppose, so we can control who has the power. Right, so we control, but there'll be people getting black market implants and being like psychics, and just like getting people to do stuff. Oh, for them. Shit, I don't think I want to live in this world. Sexy, sexy, dirty things with <laughs> prodders. There's new prodders as well, like and stuff. Yeah, drilldo technology is, is going to take a on, massive leap forward. Honestly, a huge leap forward. And Man. when Lady Killjoy's videos get leaked to the to the internet. Oh, it's only a matter of time. And then everyone's going to want a drill day. Everyone's going to be blown away by that, that I mean, that high-level porn. Oh, God. You know, it's like what happens during a war, right? You know, technology goes on in leaps and bounds. Like yeah. World War Two. Yeah, it's like one of the fastest development periods in we human history. We developed nuclear weapons, you know. <laughs> yeah, and rockets. What's the nuclear weapons equivalent of porn? <laughs> <laughs> Atomic porn. That's right. <laughs> That's what Lady Killjoy did. She made ultra atomic porn. Jeez. Well, good for her. It's kind of like I think of it a little bit like um, Godzilla. You know, Godzilla porn. That's like atomic porn, right? Uh, sure. He's like an atomic monster. He atomic. is an atomic monster, without yeah. a doubt. 
And I think the words atomic monster should feature strongly in atomic porn. <laughs> right. Well, Blondie, Steve, what was that? Blondie, she did the single. Atomic. Oh, you're too old. Debbie Harry, Steve. <laughs> Debbie Harris. Uh, Del Vision says, I'm missing you to play Star Control 2. Any chance you'll give the Urquan Masters a new go after XCOM? We were just talking about that, We were we? just talking about that, yeah. Maybe. We've still got, I've still got the save file. Oh, good. So we can go back. Yeah, I mean... It's... I think it was just a little bit too thick for us. Like, a little bit too... I don't know, it wasn't strategical enough. We didn't... We weren't able to, like... We couldn't really discuss know. strategy, could we? It was just kind of go to the place, do it the thing. It was more of an RPG than we realised, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's very RPG. It was very story heavy. And that's good, because the story's good. Hmm. I just feel like maybe, like, that's not... It's not... If we wanted to play a space story, we'd play Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking about the... Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Turnbore 33, evening chaps. Book the hey, evening hey. off work so I could finally watch the stream live. Hooray! Best of luck with the final mission. Uh, what are you playing next? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, please play Shadow War Armageddon, says Ping38. What's Shadow War Armageddon? That's the thing I told you about a minute ago where it's Armageddon, uh, it's Necromunda but with all the races from 40k. So you can have like Tau and Eldar and whatnot in Necromunda. Oh! But that's not a that's not it's a, not a computer a game. video game. We no. can't play that. Can't play that on stream. We need some models and stuff. Yeah. So maybe we should start with that then, because then because that would why Duncan can Shin can use their models. Because I think Shin yeah. wants to use Tau. Yeah. So you'd only need to get like seven or eight guys painted up. Well, I mean, that. if he was using Tau, he'd only be able probably be able to use two or three. Like they're pretty badass, aren't they? Uh, well, you can't. The thing is, like um, everyone can only use like their basic troopers. You can't take like the super battle suits and stuff like that. Why not? Because uh, it would be totally OP in Why? such a small game. Because well, not if you point value it correctly. Well, then it's not a skirmish game anymore, is it? If you can have, if you have a thousand points and you can buy a super battle suit, then the other guy can spend a thousand points on a hundred regular guys. Yeah. And then you, you're just playing 40k, aren't you? You're not playing a little like skirmish right. I'm not saying we need to bring squad. the fucking Avatar of Corn in or yeah. anything like <laughs> I, or Khan Avatar of Khan or Corn either Kane Any, e, Avatar of Kane <laughs> Kane Corn Khan <laughs> Kine whatever I don't care I'm not saying we bring in a guy with a bigger fucking massive sword I'm just yeah. who can't fit into any of the fucking cupboards caves and yeah. up the ramps and stuff we're, we're gonna bring a fucking Predator Annihilator in there, are we? No, that's my point. That's basically what the no, the Tau battle suits are. No, but I think we can we can like that's true. We're not gonna bring in a Tau battle suit. I oh, mean, no, just a, a small a small Tau battle suit, like a, a a little one. You can have a stealth suit that fits. I don't know very much about 40k. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be just the basic guys. You can have the basic guys and well, a little bit better than the basic if guys, you, right? If you want like a captain. If you want to use the rules, a basic guy captain. If you want to use the rules as given. Then no, you but can't. in but in Necromunda and Mordheim, you get like the lower the shit tier, you get like the middle tier, and you get like the upper tier. Well, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's basic guys only. That's the rules. What do you mean basic guys? What just one fucking guy? Well, as Tau, you can have a squad of Pathfinders, which are like the scouts, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. But even, even in like Necrom and Mordheim, you get like squads of like like a decent mix. No, you, you get don't. the juves and you get like the heavies. And you oh get, well, like, yeah, no, you get that. You can have like you know a rookie pathfinder or a pathfinder with like a railgun as like your heavy weapons guy. Well, yeah, I, that's exactly. Okay, I, yeah, you can do that. I'm hoping it's not just fucking you know five on five space marines with fucking blaster pistols, or whatever they're called, bolt, bolt pistols, guns. bolt guns. No, no, you can mix it up. You can definitely you can Fuck have like a heavy me. weapon guy. Bolt guns. <laughs> Why are you getting angry about bolt guns? Well, they're so stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with I a hate bolt, bolt gun? I always hate bolt guns. Why? I they're just shit. Why? What year is this? 40,000 in the future, we're firing a fucking, like, a fucking bolt out of a gun. No, a, a bolt is a, um, it's a rocket-pelled grenade. It's an armor-piercing RPG, and they fire them, like, in, on, in automatic guns. Right, they're so not it's like a little mini crossbow bolt. No, it's like... It's, it's no, a, it's nothing it's an like RPG. anything that I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. It's literally like a rapid-firing uh, rocket But launcher. it doesn't have any, like, fucking... Shut up. 
Bolt guns fire warheads, says TMS Finn. <laughs> you fucking idiot, Lewis, says Lower <laughs> Troll. I just feel like... I feel like you don't uh, you don't understand thing. 40k and and you hate you get angry at things Here's you don't the understand. Thing, right? That's that's what it you is. You have to have like you have to have a low a shit tier troop yeah. for any for a medium tier troop to feel even slightly badass. That's my exact problem with 40k is that everyone's elite. And yeah. you space and if, Marines, if everyone's elite space then Marines no are one's shit elite. tier troops on the space breed side because you have the space breeds are the lowest then you get assault fucking space breeds you get terminator space breeds you get assault terminators you get like you know it, it just goes up in the rampings from there and you get yeah. all the dreadnoughts and all the big shit you know it turns out that space marines turn into the fucking you know fodder basically yeah and that is the problem because no one plays the armies that even though space are breeds are supposed to be a badass unit i guess what i'm saying is that Space Marines need to either have a fodder unit that's shit, or mm. figure well, out... This is why mm. I prefer playing or Chaos, be more badass. Chaos Space Marines. Because what I do is I have a horde of cultists, who are literally one of the shittest things in the game, and then like a couple of squads of, of Chaos Marines. And it does make the Chaos Space Marines feel badass, because they're surrounded by fucking chumps. Well, this is the thing about Sigma that I saw. Like, I looked at the Sigma battle... battle battles and was like oh this is really cool but then I think playing it some of those guys who look super badass are gonna be the chumps yeah and they're gonna be like oh yeah these things look badass but they're shit I mean what <laughs> as soon as you know that they're shit it changes them in your eyes you know? yeah not that they're shit but they like, like they are shit comparatively yeah like and so I don't know you know what I'm saying. I know exactly what you're saying, and it's my big bugbear with a lot of games that they don't have enough shit stuff, so the good stuff doesn't. I feel like good. shit stuff. I yeah, like fucking me too. those those snot snotlings. Yeah. I like fucking big old loads of snotlings on the big base with loads of them. Yeah. And you they're, they're cool. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I like shit stuff. It's me funny. Too. I like zombies. That's why, like, in, in any kind of like trash giant mummies, giant robot mech game, right? Skeletons. You need the infantry to get squashed on. Otherwise, how do you even know it's a giant yeah, robot I mean, game? Yeah, I mean, if you're just fighting a bigger fucking mech, then what's the point? Yeah. We're agreed. How do you feel, chat? Do you just want all big badasses all the time? Chat agrees with me. <laughs> I'm not reading. <laughs> Lewis likes scat, says Robert Knife. <laughs> oh my god, that's, well, not, that's, where your I, take that's away. not where I was going <laughs> Perfect. with that. Oh, fucking hell. Perfect. That's exactly what he was saying. You nailed it. Uh, this final mission is fucking weird, I just want to say that. Like, I don't know if I've said it yet, but this does not feel like any of the other missions in this game. Can someone fix the fucking donations thing? Because they, it keeps resetting, and therefore I can't read anything past five minutes past five. Yeah, it's like super busted. <laughs> Chat's talking about how what, what you're really trying to say is that your tiny dick is perfect because it makes all the other dicks look bigger. <laughs> I'll have you know, my dick has won awards for being tiny. It's, it's one of the most perfectly formed tiny, tiny dicks. It's one of the ti nicest looking tiny dicks oh. in the country. That's that's Lady Killjoy had no problems. Yeah, well, to be honest, when you're when you're having sexy drill-do time with Lady Killjoy, your dick doesn't really come into it. Well, if you've got a small dick, you have to find other ways to, you know, satisfy yes. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, listen. We always come bad. back to sex on this. Do you think we it's do. it's because XCOM is an inherently sexy game, and that's what keeps us coming back to it? I think inherently. Coming, coming back. <laughs> yeah, coming back for more. Coming back, yeah, all over the place. We will, um, mm, I don't know. Uh, help. Help. <laughs> there's a brain? Where's the brain? Who said there's a brain? Man, there's no easier way to trigger me than to tell me if you've seen a brain. Is there a brain? Like, where? I can't see it. No, I think he's just trying to spook me. Who's was saying kill the brain. It's a troll. On the floor? Oh, we stunned a brain, didn't we? Shit, where was that? It was here. Who's got time units? You. Mark Chen, execute. Well, that's the wall, not the thing on the floor. 
It's fuck fine, it's not going to wake up. Well, I hope not. Because we're, we're fucked if it does. I'm, I'm seriously considering just leaving half the squad behind. Because it's taking so long to move everyone up. Can you imagine if we got wiped now because a brain <laughs> woke up there? And just whipped three guys into ate zombies. everyone and then... We just have to leave them. Well, yeah, we would. We just have to outrun them. Okay, Mark Chen, come on. Did he do it? Nope. Pick it up and, like, throw it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hide it in a corner and drop a grenade on it. Throw it in there. Just turn it wrong. How long does it take to throw it? Uh. All right, so... But I don't want anyone to get caught in the grenade corner. Blast. So move forward. Oh, well, like up here? No, not that corner. The corner, the back corner. The corner that Over here? That corner, yeah. Okay, so he needs 15 to throw. Oh, yeah, perfect. Chuck it right down right. there. Down the... F not that far. It's pretty heavy. There we go. All right, chuck right, it over so. there. Okay, and then someone else, get a grenade. Who we got? Mark Chen's done. So, cools. Don't use cools. He's our best psychic. Well, oh, there's nothing fine. to psychic, so it's fine. Uh, grenade activated. Drop it on the floor. Uh, hang on. Is he going to be okay to move? Yeah. Chew butter. Uh, what does he need? He needs 15. Perfect! Just like, love it. Like here? Yeah. It should be far enough away that it's not. He's going to like, just look at the explosion. Yeah. Like a loser. He's not a cool dude at all. Uh, Tina, what do you see? You see that guy? What do your chump eyes see? And, um, Six Dicks Joe is on the case. Probe his brain. No. Joey. Not enough probing. This guy. Prod him in his you, brain. You got him. Has this guy sort of semi-stunned himself? Yeah. Oh, we're doing the old, um, I forgot we were doing the old... Um, yeah, let's, let's know, like, let me know when the donations are fixed. Uh, Steve, and I'll read some more. But yeah, like, I don't know, just let me know. Thanks. Goodbye. Uh, Bye. He's not listening. That blew out the doors. Yeah, that was the plan. I suppose useful. Does this look like a death trap with all those doors? You just walk in and get brained? I don't want to get brained. I don't want to get brained. I don't want to get brained. Mm. Does is it just me or does this feel like nowhere near enough aliens? Um, well, I wonder what the limits are. Like the a regular alien base had like three times as many aliens. But as what are the limits on this game? Like, well, uh, how many can it have in one game at one time? Yeah, I don't know. But we've had missions with more aliens than this before. Or do you think because we've got more of our own men, that means there's less aliens? Now we've got 26 guys. I mean, I don't want to, like, metagame. Well, that's a dead brain. Good call, chat. I had totally forgotten that that was stunned. Was that, like, that one brain? Yeah, the one we threw over here. There's only been one brain, though. We killed, like, ten lobsters. Yeah. Weird, huh? I think lobsters used to be scary. Yeah, yeah, like they were really scary, like just a couple of weeks ago. But, but mind control really just messes them up. Do you reckon you could complete this on Superhuman without mind control? Like, if you set yourself the personal challenge of never using mind control. Oh my god, let's not do that. But do you think it's physically possible? <sighs> I wonder if anyone's ever done it. I'm sure there's plenty of psychos out there who've tried it. I don't think we could do it. It'd be really tough. I think you could. I think it's. I think it's possible. I don't know if I could do it. I think someone could do it. I mean, are these candles? Candlesticks underwater? Um, I mean, they kind of look like dungeon candlesticks. They could be like lanterns. Hmm. It could be lanterns. It could be. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, it gets frustrating as all your soldiers run out of energy and take forever to get to the end of the map and hardly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, our guys are really low on energy. Like, that's the reason they're not all just pounding along at full speed. Like, look at Tina. She's exhausted. Oh, shit, yeah. She's... These guys are all pretty knackered. Lewis, you need to, like, do more cardio. Well, we don't, we don't expect to have to run a fucking <laughs> labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. Sura's out of energy. Everyone's out of energy. Ah. They'll be fine. At least we could just, we could just, we could just keep people up. Keep people running up. Yeah, it's okay. Did I give up on this guy? Reviving him? I guess I did. He must have just been chatting shit. He'll wake <sighs> up on his own time. Let him sleep. Alright. He's earned it. Yeah, have a little rest. Petra's up. Petra's up. You sit this one out. You got, like, you know, hit in the back of the head by a stun grenade. Probably like one of those, you know, riot police gas canisters, you know. Oh. It's very clank. And it, like came out of the pipe, right? And just bopped him. Yeah, like tin of beans, just slapped <laughs> him in the back of the head. Shit. Yeah, you don't want to. Don't, don't want, that. want that. Sounds horrible. Um, Tina, just think you were lying about your stamina. Oh, <laughs> oh Lulu. Holy shit! Well, I'm, the, I, me and you are out fucking front, Ben. Front we are. <laughs> We've it's, it's chumps forward at the We've moment. Got the all the best guys are in the back. All of us. Uh, we're going to have a lot of stamina after this mission, I'll tell you what. Practice makes perfect. Mm, well. Alright, just send him, send him out there. Send him out to die. Die. Um, this guy needs a drill. Oh, but he does need a drill. You're right. Maybe if I just chuck him... Oh, well, not enough time units. Boop! We should get the lobster men to do the drilling for us. Yeah, it's annoying you can't use their claw attacks. That is unusually annoying. Mm. Badger King. Yep. There hasn't been a single um, Tathos, has there? Tathos. In these, Tathos. In these three, three levels Tass of... Tathos. Ta you Tathos. <laughs> Could someone chuck a drill at that lobster <laughs> squad leader and he can uh, get I think drilling. the closest drill is like... Miles away. Oh, oh you've got oh, one. No. Okay, Here's cool. A product. Bring him up. You chucked Tina. Tina. You chucked to Lobstow. Lobby. Larry. What's the name of this lobster man? Can you walk forward? Oh, never mind. He'll do it. What's his name? Um, Choppy. Choppy. Pinchy. 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 Here we go. Go get him, Pinchy. <laughs> Good work. He's on a rampage. Oh, oh, we just got just. just. Yeah, I was worried we weren't going to catch him. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, this guy needs a drill too. Shit. You can go have a look. What do you see? Bloody nothing, is there? It's just this is like the emptiest right. base. We're going to take a little break. I need to have a peepo. I'm going to have a break. Can you get these donations fixed, Steve, in the break? So we can read them out when we're back. Um, yeah, we'll be back. My God, it's been an hour and a half. Man. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'll chat to chat. All right. Have yeah, a I'll be... Chat. Do you want to think... Like I was going to get an apple, actually. Do you want to... Yeah. Like, it's a fruit. I do. I... Banana, grapes, um, peach, pear... I'll have an orange. Orange? Well, not an actual orange, but like... You know, um, a baby orange, a tangerine, a saxuma, or an pom, orange that's been whatever. stolen from its. <laughs> yeah, a little baby orange. orange, a peelable, peelable orange oh fruit. Oh god, you monster! <laughs> that orange could have been someone. <laughs> uh, so, if you're already, well, I guess adverts are rolling now, so it's too late for me to tell you to subscribe. Um, cool. How you doing, chat? Oh, apparently not everyone gets adverts. I guess if you're... Right, Steve's giving me the lowdown. If you live in Lithuania, you're probably not getting an advert. I guess it's all down to CPMs. Well, you can piss off, seen by rum. 24? Man, do I hate hotkeys? Not, not really. Are there hotkeys to this? It doesn't tell me there's hotkeys. Shit, have I been playing it wrong the whole time? Oh, oh my god. 
Oh, the chat's moving too fast. How? How do I read it so quick? Okay, I get it. You don't have ads. Let me get the super mouse. So I can control this endless stream. Whew. Right. Oh, so there are hotkeys. Okay, well, I guess it's too late for me to learn them now. I've just played like, what, like six months of hotkeyless XCOM. I guess I'll do the last level without. Um, Chromecast blocks ads. Does it? Holy shit. That's weird. You'd think Google, who makes Chromecast, would be all about the ads. Hmm. Hi, Super Punch Mans. Hi, hi, hi to everyone. I can't say hi to all of you. There's too many people saying hi. It's too, it's too much. But I, I, I'm reading everything. Luke's got 3D printed Aquanauts. Holy shit. Send us a picture. Post a picture of them on the Reddit. That sounds cool. I don't want to see them. Rubber knife. Ah, a little bit of reverse psychology. I'm not falling for your tricks. <laughs> oh my god. Too, too many chats. Yes, I can. Um, I have never played Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Saga. How do you... Is it any good? I don't know. Wait, am I out of view? Oh, shit. Sorry. That's where the chat window is. Uh, Yatsi Depp wants to know what's my opinion of XCOM 2. I liked it. And I thought it was good. I think there's one problem I have with the modern XCOMs, which I didn't realise until I played them quite a lot, was that you have um, the aliens, instead of spawning across the map and doing their own thing, like they do in the originals, is they, they walk around in these pods, and the pods teleport around the map, and when you get one within line of sight, they, like, pop, and it spawns a group of aliens that then run to cover. But the problem with that is that when you... Oh, thanks, dude. Wow! Holy shit! Triple orange. Mm, what am I? Juggling. I I can't. I I I learned to juggle when I was like fourteen, and then never did it again. So like, um, I don't. Ah, no, can't. Forgotten. Too many years have passed. <laughs> Can you juggle? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, holy shit! <laughs> Okay. Good work. Is that why you brought down three? Just to show off your job? No. I bought down three because <laughs> I put one in my pocket. Right. And then I saw that there was a different um, fruit box to the one we normally get. Yeah, well, they've sent us like a sample. They want to, uh, they're, they're pitching for the fruit box And contract. I saw there were also oranges in there. Ah. So. Are we comparing? Is it which one's which? Because have, we have to judge which fruit box company we want to go with. Well, I mean, I juggled them, so they're thoroughly oh, randomised now. Knows. It's the blind orange taste test. It's like the Pepsi Cola challenge. This thing is, it's double blind. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> well, we don't know which one's from which. <laughs> no, someone should have should have written it down beforehand. Shit, it's all for nothing. I'm eating this orange for no reason now. What are you telling, chat? Ah, so chat wanted to know. Um, well, y Yatsi Depp wanted to know if what I thought of XCOM 2, and I was telling them that I liked it until I discovered the hideous flaw with the modern XCOMs, which is the pod spawning system. Oh. So the problem is, the game encourages you to outflank enemies, but the moment you do that, you drag other pods into the combat. So the safest strategy for the game is to always pop a pod, fall back, go on Overwatch, let them come to you, and then shoot the shit out of them. Because if you try anything else different, there's always this random chance you'll just drag another group of aliens into outflank Which you. Which means you die. Which means you die. Yeah. So the only way to play, the, op the optimal play way to play the game is super boring. And you try any other strategies for fun and you just get fucked. Um, so I can't play the modern XCOMs anymore once I realise that. And it's really disappointing. Mm. Hopefully someone will mod it to stop that. Because it's... Because even Long War does it. But Long War just fucks you even more if you pop another pod. Because the pods have like 12 aliens in them. Mm. So you, you literally cannot risk popping a pod in, in Long War. No. Because it will wipe your team. I mean, sometimes... I mean, because they have patrol routes, they can sometimes walk into your areas anyway. True. Which... So, you know, but... Usually you've backed off far enough that that's not going to happen. But the worst thing is, like... When you don't even try and flank, right? Like, you have, like, a melee guy. Mm. That's a really cool idea. I love having a melee guy. And... You know, he runs in, 
to the aliens to like do a finishing blow or something, you know, you do a finishing blow, chop. And sometimes you're gonna miss like ten percent of the time. And you're like, oh fuck, well, that's I, fine. I fucked myself. Yeah. But you weren't even trying to flank. You weren't even anywhere different. But you still pull a new pod. Yeah, because you've explored like five extra squares that you hadn't seen before, and it just pulls another pod at the end of your turn, and you you're dead. Yeah. Because they see you, they they get their free move, and then the next turn they get another move and shoot you in the side. What's more realistic though? Um. I. The problem, I don't know. I mean, what you get in the original XCOM, when, you, when you're down a UFO, the aliens are just kind of wandering about, and they can come and get you. It's not like you spot them, then they activate. It's the free move that they get when you pop the pod. I think that's the stitch up. I don't know what the... What, the free move they have instantly to go to cover? Yeah. Because if you discover them at the end of the turn, they get their free move, then they get their regular move, and then they shoot you. And there's like no protection against it. So they, they can't fire in their free move though, can they? No, they can't. But it gives them, it means you find them, then they, their free move gets them round your flank. And then they move even further. It just puts them into a position to give them a perfect move next turn. Yeah, yeah, Steve is saying it's worth with, worse with chrysalids, and that is true. It basically means you just have to be this super cagey, cautious thing where you, you can only risk popping a pod with your first move or two, and then after that you cannot risk, like, activation three, four, or five, or six on, on exploring new territory. And it sucks the fun out for me. Well, well, I don't know, I don't know what the solution is. I guess just don't have the pod thing. Just have them, have them walking around doing their own thing. Hmm. Um, on a patrol route, that's fine. And maybe when the aliens spot you, they start calling in reinforcements. So that it's like this firefight where finding a new enemies doesn't give them a free go. What is the answer? I can't think of the answer off the top of my head, but there must be a better solution. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like that's we know what the problems are. The problems are that, like exactly what you just said. The fact that you You're punished for moving. Oh Brain. Brain's that's fine. Brain. But I don't think we can do anything about it. Ah, well, welcome back. If you watched the advert, thanks, thanks for hanging around. We just had a big rant about XCOM 2. Did you fix the donations, Steve? Um, uh, no. Oh, hang on, let me refresh them. See if that's worked. Okay. We've done everything. We've done everyone. Cool. Can I just... Is there a way I can check which ones came in, Steve? Just so I can double check everyone. What's that? Well, right, thank you. Just so I can check like the last couple. I thought I'd gone through them all, but I don't want to. Oh. Okay. Lobster man sleepy time. Lobster man pudgy time. Hmm. Quarantina. Spot him. Oh, cool. Cool. Good stuff. Thanks, Echo That's, that's weird because like. Do you think there were some that you hadn't clicked? Maybe. Oh shit. Well, if Akawai has been watching the stream, then he knows. But let me know if you in chat if you if you donated and we haven't. Yeah. See, look, Matt kicks butt. I haven't read his one. Yeah. Give me, give me Akawai. Just reset it for today, and um, I'll I'll clear them out again. It's no problem. Yeah. Can we have bring back the messages? Well, okay. I, I want to make sure I. Send you one. Ah, uh, nice. I got the um, brain. I got the brain. Acrotoid. There is a drill on the floor next to that lobster man. Uh, this is a blaster bomb. That's th that lobster man has a drill. This one. Though. That that one. Um, dumps this one here. Oh, so. Do you have a drill? Oh, he does. Yeah, good one. Yeah, we could have him drill some people. Yeah, we'll send them out. Tina can like. Tina can like prod him. him along, and uh, we'll start bringing these guys up. He's holding this guy's drill. Yeah. God, we just gotta do it, me and you. Like, yeah, we gotta get in there. With the with the commanders. The How can we take all the glory if we're not if we're not there? Oh, Rakito needs a gun now, because we're not getting psychic attacked. Drop that he shit. He is a good he is a good sniper. Yeah. Um Yeah. I mean it doesn't matter if we don't move some of these guys because their energy's sort of replenishing, but I still think it's worth running them up. Yeah, we've got to get keep moving. Um, so what would be your... 
What features would your perfect XCOM type game have? Hmm. Well, um. Oh, hang on. I can probably look at the subs as well. Oh, yeah, I can. Some people have donated with subs. Okay, oh, I'll go through cool. these. Um, what would my. Per for the perfect. I don't know, like. I like this a lot. I think that. Obviously, Open XCOM's improved on a lot of the areas, but uh, XCOM, mm. the new XCOM game, did improve on so many areas. Like, there were yeah. so many things it did right. Um, I think that is really my only bugbear with it. Everything else. Well, it's great. very frustrating to, to play the game the way it's supposed to be played on the hardcore, you know. Yeah. And It's frustrating. It's frustrating. I don't like quick loading, but I no. feel like... I feel like... Yeah, you either play the game in an extremely sh uncomfortable way. But maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're just playing it wrong, Ben. Maybe we're just bad at the game. It's possible, isn't it? It's possible. It's I mean, not, I, it's not been the first I time. I have completed it on Iron Man Impossible. Um, and I had to do it by being super cagey, boring Turtle Man. But maybe there's another way of doing it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, probably not. If you've said that... <laughs> um, Samuel Roy 21 has subbed for three months in a row, ready for the final mission. Thank you, Samuel Roy. Um, let's just clear the rest of these. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know. Dave 7118 says, one way or another, this is going to be the final XCOB stream. Yeah, it will be. One way or another. Yeah, we're having a break. We're going to get to the end of this, if it, unless it kills us. Because we, uh, we're not here next week, are we? Are we, we not? No, we, um, we're away. Are we? Uh, I don't know if I can say what it is. Next week? Next week, yeah. Is that next week? Yeah. What's this week? Nothing. Nothing happening. We're here. We're here, we're here right now, we're streaming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pug Bennis says, excited to see how this turns out to turn... Oh, shit! Got, got a lobster man woke up. Get back down! Jesus Christ. Oh, this is fine. Well, uh, maybe it was a good thing we did deal with that break, because we probably would have woken up. Yeah, would have done. Um, so, so, yeah, thank you for subbing up, Pug Menace. If you've got a Twitch, Twitch, uh, Amazon Twitch, why not sub up, and I'll read your donation from it. Uh, yeah. If you want to do a free donation. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free. Um, Tiath, thank you. And uh, so thank you for subscribing, you guys. If you put a donation message in your subscribe, I'll, I'll let you know. Million Man subscribed. Oh, yeah. 16 months ago. Hey, hey. He's there. He was one of our soldiers. Captain Kingyo, 30 months. Thank you. Wow. 30 months. That is like close to three years. That's so older than my Babby boy. Up, like Your subscription is older older than Babby. Is that from like one of the first live streams, do you think? Does that make sense? No. Um, don't know. Three, so well, your, your baby, really. Uh, JX, J Kixel, sorry, J Kixel says, "Let's do this." Let's do this. That's what he said. Yeah. He didn't say, "Let's do, let's do it." Gyan <laughs> Gyan in a box says, uh, "Can I get a rude comment from Lulu?" No, can't. <gasps> what? Jerk. You love rude comments. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit meta. Uh, Majora's Mask as fuck has subscribed. Wow. Nice. It just says it all, doesn't it? Um, Usher Swag King 98. Lumpy Best. <laughs> Kizu 86. Uh, Rao Lal says, So glad I was able to make it to the last stream. So yeah, next bum, week we're going to be here. Who's going to come for us? I don't know. So we're going to Poland yes. um, for a few days to play Gwent. Gwent. And um, then we will be going to Comic-Con after that at the weekend. Are you coming to Comic-Con? No. Oh, are you going to play Warham? Can we say that? <laughs> Maybe. Well, you can say what we're doing. I'm going to go play a sequel to a we game can, I play quite a lot. We can, we can, we can go. It's fine. We, wanna, <laughs> we can say what we're doing. <laughs> All right. I just don't know. There's NDAs and shit. Isn't well, there? not around what we're doing. <laughs> right. 
we can say we're going somewhere to do something. Okay. We're going to see Gwent in Poland for some reason. Yeah. We were supposed to go, like, last week. Yeah, we? So we were supposed pushed. to go Poland into Stockholm. Yeah. Um, but then they had to they were, but they they push pushed it back. For various reasons. I don't know um, what the reasons were. Actually. So, yeah, I'm not going to MCN, so I can um, I can play Warhammer's. Warhammer. Um, have a go. Yeah, see what you think. Are you yeah. going to get to capture anything, or...? I don't know yet. Like you're going to do it on Tom's channel? Is uh, Tom yeah, going? we'll go on Tom's channel. Um, so if you want to see something to do with Warhammer 2... We don't go, know what. We don't yeah. know exactly what they're going to let us do with it. Um, then go subscribe to Angory Tom slash YouTube at... Yotscast. Uh, Twitter. Angory Tom. Instagram. He hasn't actually got one of those URLs yet. It's li like if you type in YouTube... Angori Tom, he hasn't got a custom URL. No, That's no. Sad. You have to use the incredibly memorable C three eight seven four slash two C BX BX exclamation sixty nine ampersand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, big money, big women. Long time fodder. Mm -hmm. Catching this one live. Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Elinari R. Uh, says for death and for some glory. DJ Bar X. First time I've watched the stream since December. Oh wow. Oh, hey. Man, and you chose to start with the final of a six-month XCOM series. Did that... Slightly confusing. Did that deep one try and shoot the lobster I man and just not penetrate yeah, the Yeah, I, I think they're too tough. They're just too tough. Oh, look, this guy woke up. Petrozob. Petrozob, he's back. Petrozob. Just woke up and had a little nap. No, he's back. Pick up his uh, drill and his time thing. Yeah. Time thing? Time thing. <laughs> Timey-wimey. Uh, screwdriver? Uh, ever seen a crab shimmy jimmy? <laughs> we got crabs booked up till next season! Next season! Uh, good man. 541 says, Necromunda would be bliss on Games Night. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? Probably yeah, it. I'm so looking forward. One of the things we have talked about was that we want to try and do more events. Yeah. I feel Special like, things. I feel like, you know, we do a lot of fun stuff. We love what we do. We're very lucky. But I think that we always remember the things that are one-offs or events yeah. or memorable. Like the Star Trek thing was a good example, Star Trek, wasn't yeah, it? but also all of the shoots that we've been on, the Don't Starve challenges and stuff like that. Mm. Like, So so my, my desire is to... Um, this is... A troubling shape, isn't it? It is a little bit troubling. I just noticed that as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unfortunate <laughs> design. Uh, to be fair, though, I don't think the aliens are aware of how inappropriate that looks. Poker night was amazing. Yeah. Um, and lots of things are fun. So, so we want to do more fun things. I think we want to try and focus when we come to the new office to try and make more special events are basically like you know we do get videos out of special events sometimes not as many as we would like to but no um, I mean you can't fill a channel with special events there aren't enough days in the week we can't really unless we stop, stop doing certain other things but maybe I'm okay with that um, but yes it will require more like organisation from like me and you hmm. to do that and that might be difficult because you know it's always been conventionally quite Quite a lot of work, but I think maybe if we just use our use our time and team better, we'll be able to find enough people who can help organise the stuff. You know, I feel like a lot of mm. a lot of good good guys who who know what they're doing. Yeah. Um. Anyway, because Tom's sort of doing more videos now, we, we might need to get someone in to like help help her organise the more eventy type stuff. By eventy stuff, I mean like. It could be as simple as like the God in 60 seconds, like GTA stuff that's always a little bit special, a little bit good. Hmm. But it can be like the poker night or like, I don't know. Yeah, we could do like, a, I don't know, a murder mystery thing or something or all sorts of shit. I just feel like if we can start trying to do that stuff, it would be, be good, but it's, it's tough. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like we have to stay on top of... Well, that's it. There's so many channels to keep, keep content. But I've always felt like... I don't want to put out bad videos. Like, we recorded a couple of videos lately that were just really bad. But, I mean, we've got them in the can for if, like, we don't know anything. <laughs> but equally, like, I don't want to put out bad videos. I feel like it does doesn't mm. help. You know? like No, I understand. If we're going to play a bad game, we might as well stream it. <laughs> 
No, I'm not, not saying that. I, th I think, hmm, I, I don't know, I'm a bit in two minds about it, really. Because on one hand, you know, everything's going fine. On the other hand, I'd like it to be different and better and continue to always innovate. And I'm leading the charge here. Look, Sponge Lewis just charging. Yeah, just keeps looking. He wants the glory. He's hungry for it. Just where are all the aliens? Have they fled in terror? Have they heard that the mighty Commander Ben is here? So they must all be in fear. Is this a spiral, this map? It is, seems, seems like a spiral, doesn't it? We started up over here, and we're going wee. I guess the end's like here in the middle? Mm, maybe. This is what I was trying to burrow through. I had a feeling the last map was kind of a spiral. And I, I didn't want to spiral again, but there's no getting through. We haven't seen this layer, these, these, these textures before. Either. No, they, they made a whole unique texture set just for the last level, by the looks of it. What, what an amazing thing to have done. Isn't that mind-blowing? Yeah, like how many, what percentage of people do you think actually ever saw these textures? Of the people who bought the game, who got to the last level? Like, 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 like a third? Like, a third? That's a bit optimistic. Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? Like five percent? Wow. Maybe, maybe less. It was a hard game, Ben. Yeah, well, it is. It's a really hard game. Um, Although, we're, you know, maybe people just do it on easy. Glad we got some top-notch PUBG videos. Man, shut up. I've enjoyed playing PUBG. <laughs> um, Frozen Embers, thank you. Tango Bish says, "Hey, Lewis, have you been to have you ever been to Magaluf or Ibiza?" Now, I have been to Ibiza, but I didn't do any of the party type stuff. And also, I went there mm -hmm. with my family <laughs> right. when I was about 12. Right. So I don't think it was such it's a party hotspot as it is now. No. I think it's changed a lot like, in the I, last Before, before the 90s, years. Ibiza used to be where like artists would retire for inspiration and stuff like that. It was like a really calm, peaceful island for yeah. chilling out on. Like Mallorca and... Yeah, and it was full of like new age hippies with candles and drugs and stuff. And now it's like fucking DJ Party Central. It's got a bit of a reputation, is there, hasn't it? And Magaluf mm. as well. I don't even know where Magaluf is. Is that in Spain? I think so. Steve, yeah. where's Magaluf? Is it a, is it one of the Balearic Islands? No. No. Balearic, so um, Mallorca, Minorca, Ibiza, and another one. Oh, Magaluf is on Mallorca. Yeah, I thought it was in the Balearics. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I know what I'm talking about. Can you, they hear you, Steve, or do they just think we're reacting to nothing? No, no I'll just explain. So Steve was telling us that... It was Mag on Mallorca. Magaluf is on Mallorca, yeah. I didn't think it was the name of an island, though. Have either of these got... No. Has someone got a drill? Who can take care of this? Hello? I need a man. A man to take care of a lobster man. Right, he's got a drill. Well, you're going to have to move somebody through that bloody... He's got his own drill. Fine. Boop. No, hand over your drill. Hand over your drill. And I will drill Lewis you. Lewis will take him from behind. Hand over. Um, you can drop this. We don't need it. Um, God, there's so much... We brought so much gear that we just didn't even need. There we I'm go. not a great soldier. No, in fact, you should probably put that down before you hurt yourself. <laughs> um, but you got a kill! Oh Is that your God. first kill? Maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. I might have chucked a grenade. Matt kicks butt, says, hello, commanders. Good luck with today's stream. And Lewis, please try and get a kill. <gasps> Oh shit! Good perfect timing. The timing on that one. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Um, Sang Derenard says, "I like to type these and watch them fade into the ether unread." Oh, that's not well, true. we read everything. We make a massive point of no, reading everything. He, he donated that with a resub, though. Oh, we don't always do the subs, do we? No, I said I'd do them today, though, because mm -hmm. I'd like I like go through them. Babbling gamer says, "Huh." Sometimes I forget how long I've been subbed. <laughs> subbed for 18 months in a row. 18 months, those. Nice. Dude, thank you so much for, I don't know, like watching all this crap for ages. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm constantly amazed that anyone wants to watch me 
talk shit and play old games. But I really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you to everyone. Well, look, it's been a long journey. This is like the rest, the rest from from the stress. You know, it's been a stressful. It's nice to have a month, a week of XCOM that is not doesn't involve massive fucking, stress, fucking death around every corner. I mean, that said, we shouldn't get complacent. But no, but it feels it, like we got this on lockdown. It's now. kind of weird that the final mission is the chill mission. Yeah, you know? it is. Because the final mission in the original XCOM was was pretty tough. It was one of the only two-step missions. So it was the only one, yeah. Oh, was it? Whereas in this, the you know, there's a I lot of... Two-step missions every other day, yeah. I mean, two-step missions are always hard, but the cruise ships are two-step. Yeah. The um, artifact sites, artifact sites two and step. the base sites. Two-step. Two there's loads of them. Right, everyone's going to need a, need a break, I think. Lewis can drop his stun bombs. Pick up the drill. And maybe drop another grenade and another grenade. There you go. Now you're not going to hurt anyone. Except maybe an alien. Let's get you going. That's the idea, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think everyone else needs a little rest because they're tired. Oh, everyone's tired. Everyone is very tired. I'm tired. Oh, Tina. Whoa, double brains! Okay. Um, That's tough to deal with. Have we got a blaster bomb nearby? Yeah, we have. Oh my god, you're not just going to fire it through the door, are you? Fire in the hole, bitches! Perfect. Good work, sir. Oh my god. You're a badass. In you go. <laughs> <laughs> Into the dark. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's anything to Godspeed. She's not got any energy anyway. Oh my god. Um... So the catch you at the catch house has got Stellaris with Humble Monthly and was positively nice. surprised to find that you two did a series that I totally missed. We did. We were the we played the Federation, didn't we? We wanted to form a Federation. Mm. When Stellaris came out it was good, but it didn't really have a very good end game. The mid the mid game was a bit slow and the end game was a bit slow. The start was good, like the middle start was, great. was okay, and then the end game was not but, existing. Uh, the date the, apparently the DLC has like fixed that. There's loads more stuff in it now. Well this apparently. is Paradox Games in a nutshell, isn't it? Yeah. They kind of ship a little bit unfinished, much like, but Civ games too. Yeah. You know, it feels like... I guess they need to see if it's popular enough to justify all the extra work to, like, add yeah, all the content in. see if they're going to do, like, a Civ 6, what Civ 6 expansion would be, if, that, if that's ever on the cards. Yeah, well, they, apparently everyone got so salty about the Civ 6 Deluxe Edition. Oh, that was um, bad. But, but they've, they've realised they've realized what a con it was, and have um, promised more, more DLC to be included. Because yeah. for anyone who didn't know, if you bought the deluxe edition, you would get it cost like twenty quid more, but you were guaranteed the next four DLC for free. Um, it was kind of meant to be like a season pass kind of jobby, but then they brought out the four DLC, and they were all just like little scenario packs with a sieve, and added together to cost one pound more than the deluxe. So by buying the deluxe edition saved you one pound, and. You didn't get hardly. Fuck you ba all. basically got fuck all. Um, so everyone had a bit of a justified moan about that, and now they, well, they're going to do something else. They're going to add more in, which is good. I like it when people listen. It, the, yeah, sometimes, sometimes they don't know. We got oh, jellyfish. jellyfish. And a deep one. Okay. You've run out of energy. Oh, shit! Get out of the way, Tina. Let the uh, big boys fire. Oh my god. Um, Okay, Captain Cools has got a, a heavy cannon. Should I try and control that deep one and get him to, like, yeah. get the jellyfish? That sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> nope. Give him the old, give him the old, the old tickle brain. <laughs> okay, we need, we need blue, Blueberry Birdie. Where are you? We're suddenly running into, like... Where is Blueberry Birdie? That's, like, our best psycho. If they can't do it, no one can. There you are. Cool. Perfect. Oh shit, we got the mega. I think we just mega the snail bomb down there. We what also about Tina? We also fire at that. Um, we get the jellyfish. Oh shit! Two tummy it's off. Uh, whoa! Steady on, Jim. I think maybe we, yeah, maybe we just lob a blast the problem like where the deep one is here. Yeah, and that Sounds might good. take out. I think that. 
Well, I got the jellyfish. That's and what we wanted to do, right? Wow, well, shit. Really fucked Tina. Oh, she's in trouble. She's dead in three turns without medical assistance. That's okay. Come home, honey. We'll, we'll patch you up. Patch you up good. Uh, have we got another blaster bomb around here? There's so few aliens, yeah, we actually there. have to use our own blaster bombs. Like, what the hell is this? Um, let's get everyone out of the firing line. Stepping forward, if you can. Okay, so we can just like fire it straight. That one, by the way, did go did go drifting a lot. Yeah, it drifted into this corner here. Um, I suppose I could just. It's all right. Just fire at it. It's fine. Perfect. Perfecto. That was the dead. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, we don't even know what they're called. We never researched them, I think did we? Zarquids. Oh, they? that's right, Zarquids. Yeah, I think that's you. A good um, alien name. Did you, you try and mind control? Oh, you probed one, didn't you? That was it. You gave it a bit of a probe. Gave, gave, it, a, gave it a brain right tickle. Um, yeah, so we might return to Stellaris. I think it would have to be. I'd like to check out like um, the the mega structures and the the like massively improved race customization. Apparently, is good fun. I want to try that. Snail down. Uh, Cossack, who is an O server to all these on the mission and to the commanders. It's been a great series, and I hope this is not jinxing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be okay. And we'll be fine. Uh, Kazar, Kazar, that's a resub, thank you. Zal QM, sub for six months in a row. Right. You have some stunned aliens in the first room, too, he says. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, the chat caught us, caught us out on that. Creeping up on, um, well, this is very recent. Oh, shit. Oh, so there's more stunned aliens we've missed. Well, we've stunned a bunch, and it's taken ages. So yeah, they're probably all waking up. up. We've left some guys, like, right back here, because I got too lazy. Um, let's just, like, leave them here, ready to... Well, they will be naked, won't they? All the lobstermen will, might, might sniff us. Yeah, I should probably just form a defensive little circle or something. With a blast bomb and two, br two drills. Three drills. Well, I'm not walking them all the way back to the end. We got three drills, four drills. I guess all you have here is drills. That's fine. We'll drill them up. If a, if a tentacle thing comes through the door and gets one of our guys, we'll just drill this shit out of them. All right. All right oh shit! You. I'm all the way back there. Oh no! How am I gonna? Oh, I wanted to get the final kill on at the end. Did you? Shit. Well, maybe it has to be me instead, <laughs> as I'm the only one sticking my neck out. <laughs> yeah, maybe you so. should have eaten less pies <laughs> and had more energy, huh? I should have done. Eating that, those oranges, they didn't give you enough energy. No, I didn't finish my orange. I got too paranoid about, like, making munching noises on stream. Look at all this. Look! Yeah, I know. It's bad, isn't it? Can't eat on stream. It upsets people. It does. I can see why, though. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Right, Tino. Here's some loving. Let's patch you up. It's all in the arm. Bop, bop, bop. Right. Okay, you're good. You're okay. Should be okay. Lewis, I you're don't think you should be on. Oh, oh. shit! Is that the thing? Well, I think just... there were, there's nine of them or something. Oh. Did it say in the intro? Did it I said there were like nine that? power conduits that we had to oh, destroy. Okay. Do you just want to run in there with like two grenades? Like a badass? Is that how we do this? I think it is. I think that's how this ends. With Commander Lewis. Sacrificing himself for the team. <laughs> what are you saying? I think you're the hero. We need to make you the hero. I don't need. No one needs to be a hero. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. A, we it's, don't need a hero. It's you, going fine. It's like how original X comments, isn't it? Spoiler alert. Three more Look. floors. Three more. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, you know, the X com 2012. Thank you, River Dash. That ends with. Um, Commander Shepard and Lewis, go out, you know, go out for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Unnecessary. Unnecessary self-sacrifice. Let me kill myself! <laughs> Is that how Mass Effect ends? Wow. Well, I never I mean, finished three. It's such three. a cheesy, you know, it's always that way, isn't it? Yes. So many films just cause I kind of find a contrived reason for the hero to, like, die for no reason. Um... Thank you, Zell QM. Thank you, Jazz Was. Oh, there's another Sarkwid. This is Chet. Oh, Chew Butter, no! Chew Butter was literally one of our best guys. Shit. Who else we got? Zero could just blast a bomb him. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Okay, Lewis, get out of the way. 
What are you gonna do? Not thread the needle through there. Walk him around the. Walk him round. He'll get shot. He's too fucking shit at shooting. <laughs> he will. That will scatter left and right, and he will right. fucking kill everyone. Here we go then. Oh my god, there's two brains and a Zarquid. Oh, he did get a bit of splashback. He needs to go and get here and fob Mark Chen. Yeah, where's Mark Chen? Patching up. Those armor suits really oh, make a difference. Oh, they make don't they? all the difference. You just don't lose people. No, you're always just wounded instead of dead. It's like oh. so much better. Right, Lewis, priming up the hero, the hero orbs. That's what we're calling them. Not enough time. Yet. Your hero, hero orbs are. Oh no, is only one of them ready? Oh shit, I have to wait another turn. Um, this guy needs a weapon, really. Like, fuck. Anyone else here? No? Boop. Um, have we got someone else who can stand there and watch? Rokito. You're our, you're our watcher in the, in the dark. You let us know when the aliens come. What? Why does he need to do that? Because I want to know what's there. I want to know what's coming. Yeah, but, um, like... Alright, fine. Can we just go and have a look? No, your, your, your hero orbs aren't, aren't ready. We have to wait. Hero orbs? <laughs> <laughs> Um, hero balls. Should we call them hero balls? 5,000. Thanks, friend. Wow, <laughs> what a name. <laughs> More jellyfish. Holy shit. Okay. Um, right, Rakito. Kill that jellyfish. Nice. Prada. Prada DN38 jump. What do you see? You see more jellyfish. Oh, Holy here, shit. It's just all all jellyfish all the time. <gasps> Is that Cthulhu's tomb? It's the Tuthulu. The Tomb Thulu. <laughs> Tuthulu. Tuthulu. Um right, where's your other hero ball? Activate. Um How do we kill this thing? We need need some gunmans. Use right? a blaster bomb. What about what about DN three eight chump? Oh he's gonna get killed, isn't he? You ran him in. <laughs> Yeah, I did. All right. Um, let's get you out of the way. And we'll get you. Oh, we could shoot him, but we don't really have that many guns. Boo! Boo! Maybe slam it into that wall Into there. that wall, yeah. Oh, was that it? Is that the last alien? Lewis didn't get to use his hero balls! We barely even saw the two of them! <laughs> what the way?! Oh! The most anticlimactic mission of all time. <laughs> let's imagine it. Let's let's paint a, a mind picture. Let's paint it in paint. Yes. <laughs> right. So let's get. This <laughs> well, we'll get the ending well, screen on in a, a minute. Second. This is the. Oh no. Oh, that isn't Why it. Why did it end turn? Maybe there aren't any aliens left, but we still have to finish it off. Okay. Right. We're going to do the the pointless Commander Shepard death, right? Yeah, I assume so. Okay, here we go. Lewis has decided that he's going to go down in history as the, the turn. as the true I hero. We can just end the turn and it will just carry on. He's not yeah. the hero Earth deserves. Oh no, he's not the one they want. I have to, he's the I one have to they bomb deserve. All of these. Oh, there's a bit too many for one, one suicide, isn't there? Like, like I suppose I could just stand there and start. Chucking just like them. start chucking them, yeah. Um. No, you don't look at the explosion, you're too cool. Oh, no, there are aliens. Oh, they're waking up now. They're waking up. Oh, shit, okay, well, you better be quick, Lewis. More hero balls. So the um, previously we'd won, but... But now it's just spawning new enemies? Question mark? No, it's not, it's the ones that are wake, waking up. They're coming for us. Oh, ah, here they come! Give him a drill. Reaction by drilling. <laughs> Amazing. Um, whoop. Whoop. And then what? This one he just drops at his feet, right? Yeah. Do we need Tina over here to witness this? Witness me. Witness him, Tina. Commander Lewis, I'll save you. No, Tina. Leave me behind. <laughs> I could take one step. <laughs> no, I'll shield you from the blast with my own body. Lewis, no! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
No one's ever completed this game before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's XCOM, baby! <laughs> um, oh shit. Shit. Okay, hang on. Can we just like... No, we're stuck. We're on a loop now. Um... Okay, <laughs> let's load to save, and then if that doesn't work, we'll draw the ending in paint. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. Oh, hang on. Um, where are we? Okay, so Hero Lewis is running in. We'll just do that bit again, and it'll probably crash again, but let's let's find out. Maybe we shouldn't have him die to the grenade. <laughs> Oh, now you want to live. Not so heroic anymore. Let's just test that. <laughs> okay. I don't know whether it will, like... Is That's what's bugging out, but maybe it's not. Probably maybe it's not. bugging out because the the game is, end, is triggering not in our turn. Do you think that could be it? Oh, right, so don't kill that lobster man. Yeah, so turn everyone around so they die to the lobster man. No, no, I mean, what's happening is I'm ending turn... That's triggering the last grenade. Oh. And then the game is ending in the alien's okay. turn. Right, so giving someone down to shoot it instead. All right. Oh, okay. This is non canon, by the way, guys. The just cannon, use a blaster bomb. The cannon ending has already happened. Yeah. Uh, this is just bug fixing. All right. So blow that grenade up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who was that brave reaction soldier? So end the game. That was Badger King. End Good work, Badger King. End, end this turn again. Just one. See, now, now they're all dead again. Right. See. Yeah. Well, we can always test that. Though. Shall I blast a bomb in there? Yeah, blast a bomb in these room, this room. Okay. Uh, just like slam it directly into that middle one. That might take the other two out. Cthulhu's tomb, I mean. <laughs> No. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Right, we'll do it in paint. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, sure. I'm going to eat this orange. Like, anger orange. Right. Um, let's, let's, where shall we start? Uh, all right. Did you, did you size like this? So, okay. What color, what color am I? Like, yellow. Maybe like orange. <laughs> so this is me in my armor suit. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> in my big like my big um my big like boots. <laughs> <laughs> These like under sea boots are like magnetic boots. Mm -hmm. And this is like this is like my visor and stuff. Do, 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 do. And I'll I'll tell you when we can do that, Steve. And then I've got like because it's underwater, right? Right, yeah. And I've got like um, this is my hand. <laughs> <laughs> why have you got no? Why have you got, why have you got fingerless gloves? <laughs> Are they all pruny because they've been underwater for three hours? <laughs> and I've got like a big grenade <laughs> right. in each hand. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to like do it like that. Now I imagine Cthulhu has sensed the presence of the mighty Lewis Brindley and has started to try and like break out of his tomb to stop you. Can we draw the tomb with the like tentacles coming out? Okay, so let's draw the tomb. So, okay, so it's like it's like a coffin. Okay, like this. Then maybe we'll we'll look for the end cutscene on YouTube after this. <laughs> and this is the lid of the coffin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then obviously the coffin's down here. Hang on, but I need to like it's like it's like slightly off. Like the lid is. Oh, like the lid is off. Nice, off nice, coffin, nice. Yeah. You see. I got it. So it's like coming off, and mm -hmm. that's like and out of this is like tentacles. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for you. With, like, suckers on them and stuff. And, like, oh, yeah, horrible. don't let him suck you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad face. <laughs> sad face Cthulhu's <laughs> coming to suck you. Okay, and then what happens? And then um, I shout. <laughs> Hang on, There's literally a speech bubble one. Oh, is there? <laughs> no, um, yeah, yeah, there yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> I shall. Uh, no. 
<laughs> Surely you bold, bold and underlined that shit. Oh, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, paint. Be chill. No, <laughs> no, I won't let you take our planet. <laughs> right. <laughs> This is how Tina's recorded it. That's black. Come on. Come on. Green. Come on. Come on, paint, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. And then I guess it's an explosion. And then boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, yeah, global conspiracy confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Take that, Cthulhu! This is how everyone remembers it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the history as recorded. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I love your visor. What the hell? Is there actually a Terror from the Deep there victory must be. scheme? There must be. And then Steve's made his very own. He's just told me he's made his very own victory screen to, true, to, to, to play for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. What is this? Oh. Oh, oh we look amazing. Oh, winner is you. Is that Hulk Hogan? Like It's from a wrestling game. Why are we so short compared to Hulk Hogan? Because Hulk Hogan's enormous. He is very tall. We are very small. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I think we've been at like deep, a very high depth and pressure for a long time. Oh, I've seen it slowly crushed we've us. Crushed us down into midgetmans. Oh my god. Oh, this is better than the real one. <laughs> oh, Lewis Katz. Check it out. You're telling oh, the aliens yeah. that all your base are to us. What a fantastic <laughs> meme, Steve. <laughs> You're a legend, Steve. <laughs> oh, I love the pixel work done. It really sets it off. Man, that really... That, that hairstyle. I can get behind it suits that. you, man. You're getting your haircut tomorrow, aren't you? I think I've got that shirt. Tell them you just want the cat's look. And that robe. All your base are belong to us. Oh, this is it, Steve. This is fucking this way is better it. than what the real one is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, this used to be the, the end screen of like all all arcade games. Mm. Back in the oh. day. Old memes for an old game. I love it. Winners don't use drugs. Or have noodle brains. Mm. It's true, we took no noodle brains on, on the mission. Because they they, they're not winners. They died. I did actually have one losing screen as well. Oh, uh, what? Why did you even make a losing I screen, one, Steve? I made one Why losing just, screen. Do you have no case. faith in us? Just in case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit. The, how many spelling mistakes, Steve? <laughs> There's only seven or eight words there. It's a meme. It's a meme. Do you spell two out of eight words wrong? 25% failure record. <laughs> yeah, you lost. That's the point. It's a meme. Oh, I see. Oh. It's the meme. Oh, so I his, get it. History is written oh, well by done, the noodle brains. I get it. Oh shit. So that's that's the fucking old commander from yeah, XCOM looking like me. Yeah, old commander. Oh, yeah, that's why they had to oh. blow his face out. <laughs> so this is my favourite one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I found it on YouTube, this thing. From okay. 2007? Look, can we play this, Steve? We'll show him the, um, what the game, how the game should have ended. Are you sure it actually has an ending and the game doesn't have a built-in crash mechanism so that it can literally can never be won? Wow. Warning, warning boring level. level. Yeah, we could have done with that warning. <laughs> Oh. oh, I better better get rid of that music. I think that was some copyright stuff there. Let's oh, see. Okay. oh, I couldn't see it though. Well, let's not risk it. Beginner difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> it's standard. Look, he's replied. It's actually standard difficulty, noob. <laughs> Uh, standard. Oh, the soundtrack was the Geoscape 4 and Geoscape 2 from the PlayStation 1 version. Oh, the first of the so wow. I can leave the music. Okay, on. cool. I'm not going to, just in case it's a so lie. The, is this just him so on this the? This is his team. Is I it guess. a sped up, or are we going to watch his whole mission? I guess. Oh, it's on the old um, zoomed in graphics resolution. Look, he brought two tanks and just four guys. He's done the whole thing through mind control. Let's not watch his entire playthrough. Let's so what he tanks and... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's fairly long-winded. Is this it? 
Oh, uh, hang on, it's right. It's, it's not obviously very long. So, okay, there we go. Here we go. You ready? Oh, I need to hang on. Let's, let's put. Hang on. How did he do it? Like, hang on. Should I we see how he did it? He did it. Like, I guess he didn't use blaster he had, bombs. Like, two tanks. He just here, did. Right maybe we end. should do that. Maybe we should go in there and shoot it with guns, like he did. Maybe we shouldn't blow up like multiple ones at once. Maybe we should just blow just up. Just go one in time. and plasma each one. And that's it. They're Is all blown it? up. They're all blown up. And then he ends the turn. No, that's the tomb of Cthulhu there. Yeah. And then, and then the explosion blows up the Earth. Blows up everyone in the base. Where are we going now? I don't know. The resolution is so low. Is it a city? I mean, it's, it's a, a shit YouTube video of a shit old game <laughs> yeah. at shit resolution. <laughs> yeah. Is someone in the shower now? <laughs> it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh shit! They're coming out of the coming out of the, ooze. the drain pipe. Well, what the fuck was that? Was that like a cliffhanger for the next one? <laughs> <laughs> Terror from the sewer? <laughs> is there a higher res? Can we see a higher oh, res one? Oh, what the fuck? What is what this one that? here? <laughs> <laughs> this would have been a better ending. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been a better ending. <laughs> yeah. That is my reaction. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh wow. But this is insane. Like, the whole game was so good and so difficult. And then the last ending, the game just kind of shat its own pants and was like three dumb levels followed by a dumber end video. What's the death. What happens when you fail the mission? Can we get the, the, the lose screen? We could probably. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see what the lose, lose screen is. Isn't it just the same as like the normal game, game over? I think it's just the same game over. It doesn't matter. We had the game over a couple of times. Remember? We have, haven't we? Yeah. I don't think it's a special one for losing on the final mission. Oh, shame. It just plays the normal loss. Just the city coming up and killing everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, yeah. So this guy didn't even flipping make it past February. Yeah. Well, nor did we on a couple of playthroughs, to be fair. Oh, I mean, it's the city cut. It's the Cthulhu comes Cthulhu out. Cthulhu comes out and starts tentacles blowing up the world. Look at these 3D graphics, though. This is quite fancy. Mm -hmm. Well, this looks, looks like, like really an ear there, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like a big old goblin ear. <laughs> does it crash? Why did it? Yeah, Who's so, driving that? So vague. I don't really understand. Oh god, what a mess! Well, there you go. That was the end of Terror from the Deep. We did it. We did it. Well, I mean, we didn't, but we did. I well. want to try it again with where I laser the, the orbs. I want right. to, I want to go this back in. And I'm going back in. We can keep chatting. I don't know. But I think it might be Open XCOM that's the problem here, though. But I feel like Open XCOM is much less likely to be bugged than. I also feel like you should let that game. last alien survive. Yeah, so I think you're right. So it doesn't switch to the alien turn in a weird, buggy way. Yeah, I agree. Um, we just need a guy with a cannon. So turn everyone around to stop them stop yeah. all firing, and you have to get them all eaten by lobsters. But um, so now I'll just do this. I'll just get boop, boop. Just What's quicker? Draining all their time units. That's well, but you have to do that every turn. If he doesn't come out this turn, which he doesn't, oh, okay. you have to do it again. Where are you? Do where are you doing that now? So I can't. Just turn them around. We don't need them. All right, all right. We're, we're only testing this, Ben. It's okay. It's all okay. I'll just drop their weapons. Because if I turn them around, they still might like spin around and react. They don't so. spin around. No one ever spins around. The aliens spin around all the time. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Turn off auto oh, okay. end mission. Um. Mm. Uh. Uh. Missed it? Auto end battle. There you go. Where? It's the bottom. Ah. Okay. Cool. Done. Alright, let's give that a go. And then we'll shoot them. Yeah. Bam. One down. One down. I want to see if there's any. I don't think there is a, like an end screen, like a statistic screen or anything. But maybe there is on OpenXCOM. I'd be interested to know if I there is. So. Here he comes. We're just, just going to have to let him... S just s let him murder a load of people. Yeah, just to keep fine. him alive. Wow. 
and reload. Oh shit, he doesn't have any ammo. Come on, Chen. Out of ammo, oh, boy. Who's a joker now for blasting through that wall? <laughs> yeah. At the start of the mission. He can chuckle out over something. Yeah. Yo, low ammo. I got you, bro. Wow, that was a good throw. Damn, son. Damn, son. You know how to crab shimmy. You got a crab shimmy about you that I like. <laughs> I like the way you shimmy, crab. Don't worry about this. No, I'm not this worried. is just test. This is yeah. This isn't canon. Don't worry, guys. It's all good. This is just for me and Ben's personal interest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we like to know this game thoroughly, intimately. Oh, Rikito. He's still alive. <laughs> Just swooned. It's uh, the second time he's swooned. <sighs> okay. One right. more. Mark Chen, do us proud. He did it. Okay. Here we go. Saving game. Oh, we get to see it in beautiful high definition. Dun 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 dun. Does that mean everyone dies on the final mission? I guess so. Looks like an explosion, doesn't it? It does look like something we wouldn't come back from. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. This is not the same. No. What is that exploding? Is, that's the city. So we go down to the city to infiltrate it, and then it comes up out of the water, which is why if you fail the mission, the game's over. And I guess we blew up the city we while blew up it was the city up there. In, in the air. And then we go back to Earth. And this is obviously a city on Earth. Yeah. And it's like... And this is just the streets. Yeah, and then the Ninja Turtles appear. And then the, the creepy alien arm comes out of the shower head. So I guess some of them survived and are lurking in the water, in the, in the sewers? Yeah, I guess it's a, an apocalypse setup. Oh! We did get a victory screen! Victory! Difficulty five. See, we did do it. Yeah. Along. We didn't secretly somehow hoodwink S you. Switcheroo it. Um, average monthly rate, pretty good. Total income, total expenditure, nice. Missions accomplished. Fifty-six we missions. Failed seven missions. Man. Did well, you still did thirteen nine missions. missions. That's Our more than I would have thought. Best mission rating was two thousand two hundred thirty-seven. Oh, worst that minus. That was the one when we lost the Sky Ranger, the first Sky Ranger. Yeah. But you carried on. I was like, I was ready to restart at that point. But you were like, we, we can, can do, do this. this. We recruited. Yeah, we recruited 334. Ah. We lost 234. We Man. killed. Actually, it's not quite right. Cause 234. We, on this one, like, it was slightly more. Because remember, we didn't in the canon version. Yeah, like, five guys died that shouldn't. Yeah. That didn't really die. Um, Still, 230. Man, 34 pretty, friendly pretty fire hard. incidents. <laughs> That's <laughs> a little too high, really, it isn't is. it? Because if we lost 230 guys, what's 34 as a percentage of that? It's like more than 10% of our deaths were friendly fire Yeah, incidences. but I mean, we had a lot of grenade grenadiers suicided in and like... Oh, we had that whole base defense where everyone just blew themselves up. Yeah. I mean, I mean we captured a lot of aliens because we stunned a lot. So we killed really 730 and we lost 200. So that's like a three to one, three aliens for every human. That's not Three bad. to one KDR. Deadly Sailing was Aquatoids, just because I guess we fought them the most. most. Um, and most effective weapon in the MC Disruptor, even though we only used them for like the last 10 missions. Wow. <laughs> it was still the most effective. I wonder whether that's just because it was the most accurate, though. Like, I don't know, or something. Hmm. Hmm. Longest months in service, eight. We had a guy with eight months. Really? So uh, we ran for 12 months, and we had one, one of our guys was hired in April and survived from April to December. That's pretty good. We should look that up in a minute and see who it was. We discovered one alien colony. We did no, there were nine terror attacks. We built four bases. We owned eight craft. We detected 245 subs. That's a lot of subs. Some stats. They infiltrated no countries. We kept Earth pure. For the humans. That is, that is unusual. Earth is for the humans. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Carino says, came for the XCOM, stayed for the drilling. <laughs> stayed for the MS paint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> T. Chalmers says, Commander Ben, yeah. orders received. Lewis will have an accident on the last mission. <laughs> I am hidden as one of the crew and await the key word. Your alliance with the aliens will bring power to XCOM's joint rules of Earth. Wow. Hail Supreme Commander Ben. Holy shit. Okay, execute order, sexy sex. Thank you, uh, Matt Kicksbart, by the way, for 
us because we said that first edition might not have come through but then he's edited again what a nice guy as always much love from Canada much love to you too Mac but hmm. uh, bloody Pete sends lots of love Nick Alama says uh, hey girls I love watching the stream keep it up um, man so that was that was it's 7 30 so that actually went on way longer than we anticipated. yeah I thought we'd be done by like 6 30 Tops. What are you doing on, on the um, A guy in chat said he'd posted pictures of Lewis and Ben Aquanauts on, to go to new? on the Roddit. Uh, in your... Uh, oh, well, we've got this. Let's see that. Oh, Healed this is... you from the blast with my own body! <laughs> Lewis, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, watching out, what was like out. Lewis and Ben's exception? <laughs> <laughs> Eighth plays. <laughs> we were with the ninth play of that that <laughs> clip. Wow. Oh my god. Where is this thing, guys? I don't Where's know. the thing? Someone said there was the, he'd made some Aquanaut models. It's clearly not popular enough to be on new. Well, why that not? was popular. Oh, anyway, look, it doesn't matter. Um, Shit. So put a link. Put yeah. a link in. Send us a send us a, a donation. Um, literal three six seven says uh, donating for Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, Lucy Fire six 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 says hi Lewis and Ben. My dad's having heart surgery tomorrow, and I'm very grateful oh. for your streaming today. Love from Sweden. Oh, I hope that all goes well. Hope you hope you go well. So I was talking Sweden about Sweden. excellent. So I was talking healthcare. about Sweden, wasn't I? We were. So I was walking down the street mm -hmm. in Sweden, and I clocked a. Uh, okay, so let's let me. I think, okay, I think this just needs to be on the screen at all times. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sure. I'm so, going to add to it. So a bunch of paradox people mm -hmm. recognised us. Yes. And came and get pickle pictures and stuff, and that was quite weird because it was all like all the devs and stuff. It was quite nice though. Yeah. And then I told you tonight we were walking down the street. Who, who have I told this story to? Did I tell it on the stream? I can't remember. I don't know. I, I haven't heard this story yet. Have I told this on stream? Where did I do this? I can't remember where I told this story. But basically, I'll tell it again. Yeah. Um, we were walking down the middle of the street, and there was a really nice guy there. Right. And he was, like, really well-dressed, really smart. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. And he's got, like, a got like a blonde quiff. Yeah, you remember. He was yeah. there. And, um, he was like, oh, I used to watch you guys all the time. I love the dogs cast. Yeah, and we were like, oh, you know, thanks, man. And he was like, yeah, I once came to Bristol looking for you. And we were like, what? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I, just, I was a bit younger. I came to Bristol. I was looking for you guys to see if I could find you. And I was like, dude, did you find us? <laughs> he was like, no, I didn't. And I was like, did you have a nice time? And he was like, yeah, I had a nice time. And I was like, what are you off to? And he was like, oh, I'm just off to meet the, meet the vice president of the European Commission. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, boring. Uh, nerd. <laughs> so, no, uh, what a nice guy. Yeah. And uh, so I, I, overall, like, we met a bunch of fans. They were all like, super fucking nice. Um, mm -hmm. Just just randomly in the street. And me and... Uh, so we were... Uh, so I was walking down another street mm -hmm. in in Stockholm. Um, I can't remember who I was with. And we... I, I was we were walking past this bar. Yeah. And I saw in it beautiful lady oh beautiful lady i clocked her as i walked by mm -hmm. but i don't know whether i clocked her because she was beautiful or because she was looking at me weirdly oh that's kind of awkward and then you don't know if they are looking at you because they know who you are or sometimes you walk down the street and people make eye contact with you yeah and you don't know whether that's because they recognize you or because they think you're a hot hot stud muffin or <laughs> because what the fuck are you doing? I'm colouring in your boots, Lewis. All because of God knows why. Anyway, we carried on walking, mm -hmm. and um, like, you know, they get they they tap me on the shoulder, mm -hmm. and it was like her boyfriend tapping me on the shoulder. Right. Um, I'm okay to tell this story. It's not super weird. Well, yeah, it's fine. It's fairly weird. And so I'm but, like, oh, you know, I was like quite surprised. He was like, oh, my girlfriend's like a massive fan of yours. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, do you want to come and have a drink with us? And I was like, sure. So we went down and had a drink with him. And this guy obviously didn't know who we were, but his girlfriend was a big fan. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't actually his. She didn't like being referred to as. Uh, it was a one way. It was a one way. One way thing, street. Which was a little bit awkward. That is super awkward. Um, but he was, the first thing he did was, mm -hmm. he, he, he offered me drugs. Right. 
he said how do i make this brush he he, uh, he said like he, he 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 said would you like some would you like some drugs and he had like some tabs of acid oh wow <laughs> yeah i'm hands. just in a bar i'll take some and acid like, sure oh, okay and so he, he he had one right and he was absolutely wasted and he basically had like three lines of conversation he was like one are you the Justin Bieber of YouTube? <laughs> right? right. Because of his girlfriend's reaction. Yeah. Which was like stunned kind of surprise. Yeah. Like obviously I think she, we talked to her for a bit. She'd obviously watched all the videos when she was a kid. She was just, I think she might have been on some, some form of drugs as well. But she was like, like. A, oh God, like, do you think they were both super high? And then, then the next day they woke up and they were like, did we meet Lewis? Or were we just really high in a bar? Picture, so. <laughs> okay. Um, but my God! So, so then, he, he was so, just so on he repeat, right? He was like, "Are you Justin Bieber of YouTube? Would you like some drugs? Uh, yeah, I have cocaine, MDMA, right. and ecstasy, and acid." And how many times did he cycle through? And will you come <laughs> to my party tonight? <laughs> right. Because I think it was his birthday or something, so he was having some sort of drug 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 party. party. Sure. And he repeated those three over and over again whenever. He uh, so I was, sounds so like he was on like, ketamine. His girlfriend was like trying to chat to me to like ask me questions and things like yeah. fairly normal we're talking about overwatch and how she plays wow and stuff and blah cool. blah blah had a lot in common um and all the while while her boy her boyfriend <laughs> he was so drugged up he said things like you know because she said i'm not you know i'm not his i'm not his girlfriend right and he would say like i want to have sex with her but she, she won't let, let me, me. <laughs> <laughs> like that so is really awkward. Animals. Like, oh my god, what do you say to that? And so, like, we, I was like, you know, well, we got to go to this paradox barbecue at, at six. You know, we can't mm -hmm. stick around. And, so that um, was the fastest pint you've ever drunk in your life, just to get out. <laughs> oh my god, it was. And that's right. It was like, um, so, so, so they were like, oh, you know, you drink. So we had we we had some drinks, but they we had two pints and we 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 drank them both like mm -hmm. real fast. And um, we we got out of there, and it was like yeah. they were like, "Oh, you drink really fast." We we're like, "Oh no, it's just English English pay." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with how weird and awkward this this so little it was meeting like, you is. Know, everything we said, it was like, "Oh yeah, we got into a barbecue at six. It's like, "Oh, the party doesn't start till 11. I was like, "Oh my god!" So it sounds like <laughs> it's it sounds not like an idea of party it. that starts at eleven. Doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? I mean, the last time I went to a fucking party that started at eleven, Jesus, I don't think I've ever been to one. I've never get invited. Oh, to I used to, I used to go to that. Jesus Christ. Whoa, messed up. So, um, what are you doing now here? I'm colouring in all the gaps. What's this blue thing? This is going to be like the floor. Oh. Like this. So, 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 it was a really <laughs> odd interaction, honestly. You know. Yeah, sounds super strange. Were they Swedish? Yeah, oh yeah. Hella Swedish. Hella Swedish. Um... Yeah, they were they were going to go and do some graffiti. Is what they were going to do. Oh, right. so they had like a notepad and a load of pens. What, like when you say graffiti, do you mean like do some cool art or just scrawl like so a tag somewhere? So what did she somewhere? say to me? So she said, "Oh, I once had a crush on almost. I went. I had crushes on almost all the Yogs cast, but not you." <laughs> what an <She> opener! <laughs> and she said, "I had a crush on Duncan. I had a crush on Shin for a while. I had a crush on Duncan for ages." She said, "Wow, biggest crush on Duncan." And she said, "I currently I have a crush on Sip." So I was like, right. Well, you do sure. know he's like married with a kid, right? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just really like him. Really, really fancy. Oh, yeah, he's so cool like, dude. Okay. And um, so she made me like draw a picture in her notebook of her and Sips getting married. <laughs> what? So I drew a picture <laughs> of her and Sips getting married. Oh my god! Mate, you should have taken the asset. This would have just been an even weirder time. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know. I oh, mean, cool. Put it up, Steve. So that is the... Uh, that what's this? A 3D printed XCOM? Yeah, so um, one of the guys in chat is like, he's done... That's the tank. We never used it, but that's what the tank in Terror from the Deep looks like. Really? Um, and he's done an Aquanaut as well. We did use it. I don't think we did use the tank. In the defense of a base. No, I know. The, that's the, like, starter tank. Oh. We used, like, the advanced tank. That's uh, what the starter tanks look like. Right. Oh, I didn't realize we ever used the starter tank. Um... Oh man, they look amazing. Like, how big are they? Like, you think for scale? We need a banana for banana. scale. <laughs> yeah, no banana. What the fuck? Although that looks like a standard kind of like um, Chinese takeaway box that they stood on, doesn't it? Look at that big old diving helmet. That's cool, isn't it? Man, they look fucking ace. Three D printers are amazing. I reckon that diving helmets would definitely double as bulletproof, like 
Mmm. Suits, right? 28 mil? Oh, cool. It's the same as, like, Games Workshop stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, sorry. Good work. They are awesome. So there's my story from Sweden. That's what Swedish people are like. Uh, JM Turns Carr out. says... Lewis, your jumper is literally glowing. So nice. So I bought this jumper in Sweden. Mm. So the one thing I wanted to get in Sweden was some Nordic, like, fleece. And this is a bit too... too, too you can't really see it because of the lights, but it's like a kind of... Can you see it like that? It's like a fleecy... Yeah, it's got, got like, like a texture to it. Light, textury, fleecy material. Mm. Man, it's so comfy. It's the one thing I wanted to pick up in Sweden. Comfy I jumper. Perfect. I went into a shop. I found a shop. I tried, I tried on a jumper. Can you see this? It's so bright. <laughs> Mm. So bright. I can't look directly at it, oh, I actually. Love it. Uh, like, it's the best thing I've ever it's too bought. too much. Oh, man. So I need to buy some more of those. Um, yeah, there you go. So Bisley28 says, Love you guys. Wish I could give more for the hours of entertainment you've given us from this stream alone. Oh. Aw. Thanks, man. There's that little heart for you. Um, what else can we draw on the, Charlie Doe, on the end thank screen? Thank you for the stream, guys. Loved watching it to chill and nerd out before my four uni exams. Good luck as an English student, Charlie Doe. Um, mm. That's my top tip. Nothing. Top tip is good luck. <laughs> um, Petrozob says, Commander, um, can I cover the door with my drill dough instead of my ass? <laughs> no, that's not what drill doughs are for. Uh, sorry. Uh, Jarkal the Burninator says, we did it, we finally did it. After all this time, we finally defeated the menace that was Windows 95. <laughs> Good job, Ben slash Lewis. Great six months. Is that what it's been? Us doing yeah, this? I feel like it's, it's coming been up six months, we started, isn't it? Like, we started after We started Christmas in January, didn't we? With um, XCOM, the original. Shall we look so on look, the uh, Yogscast you, you Live? Yeah. How many hours have we done? Um, oh, it's already here. Boop. Mm. So we tried Terra from the Deep. I like, I like hearing that. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't said it for a while. So then let's have a look. Is this playlist up to date? Uh, that was last week, yeah. And then it goes back to... So we did original UFO, three episodes. Oh, shit. Um, we started then we did one. Terror Wait, from the Deep. Right, and we went... Right, open that one in a new town. Oh, 5th of October. What? But then we died. Uh, so we did, we did nine hours, failed. Then we did Star Control for two weeks. Heroes of Might and Magic. Oh, that was good. That was good, wasn't it? I kind of want to do some more Heroes of Might and Magic. Um, then we came back in January. How did we do on that? Did, was it just a was it just a single player? Uh, no, we but we, we uh, hot no, not hot seated it. Well, yeah, we did hot seated. We did hot seated. Yeah, but on the same two, thing. That's it. Yeah, the Skelly Bob, Steve. And um, yeah, we just took it in turns. So that was pretty cool. We could do that again. Uh, then we came back in January and did. Fourth uh, of January. Then we did two sessions and died. Oh, then, then we then did, we did that a because we were like, oh yeah, we did the tyranny thing. Then we came. Then we were like, we're not doing terror from the deep again because we failed it three times in a row. Let's do apocalypse instead. And that um, lasted a week. Then we, we were kind of barely a that. week. Then we did the Ooh. pirates mod. It was so bad. And we didn't like that, so we started terror from the deep halfway through that stream. Right. And then that this has been the unbroken chain since since oh, that one. Oh really? I didn't realize it started with first of February. That shitty modded first. That's it. Because a lot of people in chat I've seen have said, "Where's the first episode of this series?" And like people in chat are going, "Oh, you have to sit through the the pirates thing to get the first episode." We need to edit that to have like a, a, a one in it. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe even change it to just say terror from the deep one. Hashtag after pirates. Yeah. Or something. Point. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fiddle that. And so then we're on episode 15 today. Times three. 45 hours. 45 hours for one playthrough. Yowzers. Feels longer. Steve says it feels longer than that. You want those hours back, <laughs> you, Steve? Yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting those back. That was good. Uh, uh, King Raj, 22. The ending was Yoxcast guarantee. Yeah, it was pretty pretty expected. Um, Killer Jacobs, thanks for subbing up. Rubber knife says, "Don't mind me, just sitting here with blue balls on my grenade belt." That didn't count as a win, by the way. What? Oh, that was totally a win. Kappa. Um, I'm taking it as a win. That was a win. Super rookie DN thirty eight chump um, actually has donated. Ah. Having found both the elevators and the ancient shoot tomb first, I am proud. To be have been able to avert the hellish future that I was yeah. sent back from. He was always like one of the first guys to go in. My purpose is complete. Future X oh, mission accomplished. To extend 
it's thanks to you, Commanders. You saved the future. You saved the future. You saved the future. Bunny Z X says hi guys. Um, Lewis, I am a guy. No. Oh. But if you want to see me as a girl, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> anyway. Good work kicking that alien ass. That's awkward. That's awkward. No, it's kind of awkward. You missed When you have a name. Of, you, your name is Bunny Bunny. Bunny Bunny. ZX. Have you seen the Big Lebowski? I sure have. Because there's a girl in that called Bunny, isn't there? And she's like the hot, the hot, hot, the hot, hot Bunny. One. She's involved in the, um, in the sexy bit. In the sex, sexy, sexy movie with, what's his name? I, to be honest, I haven't seen that film in like 15 years. I cannot remember. It holds up pretty good. It's a good good movie. I like it. Although, I don't know, a lot of the, um, uh, some of the jokes have been stolen and done. Yeah, they've kind of been repeated a lot, haven't they? Like, people steal jokes from good stuff. They do. It's a shame. Uh, Pobbin. How do we do an outline? Third, resubbing for Steve. Oh, cheers, dude. Badger King. Yeah, I got the final kill of the game. Well done, Commander. I do class this as a victory. Um, I think you guys would really enjoy bloop, 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 bloop. Dark Heresy. That uh, is the 40k role-playing game. Love, Age of Sigma. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> you should give it a try, Ben. No! Why Boo. would you not give it a try? Boo! Why would you not give it a try? Because I've got other better games to play. Uh, shut up. You I'm can't playing Star Wars Armada. You can't boo. You're, you're booing it on principle, I think. Yeah, I am. You're being a meanie. <laughs> You're being a meanie. Mean face. Meanie but mean, mean There you go. Suck on your bubbles. Um, there you go. Thanks, Badger more, King. More bubbles. Oh, man. I'll play you at Age of Sigma. How about that? Come to the office. Boo. I'll give you a play. I'll be the... Um, uh, what I like about Age of Sigma is how all of the races have got new cool names. Like Carnate. I Overlords hate that. And Shit me. Like, I just want to know what Storm lizard men are. Defern- I don't Eternals. want fucking... Stormlord Eternals. Mm. Oh, I don't even know what half of the shit is called. That's another thing. They just changed all the names for no I reason. I like that. And now I just don't know what anything is. It's a good idea, though, because well, then it separates it from all of you guys. It's not, right. it's not stepping <laughs> to your toes, is it? What do you mean? Like, it's, it's purposely trying to alienate me from itself. It's going out of its way to be difficult. Hmm. Oh, we're, we're vaping. You're vaping. Um, Cephalopod Zargosian says, Champion of Earth, it has been my greatest honour to serve you coffee and chronicle your brave, <laughs> virtually solo destruction of the <laughs> alien tomb. I bid you the fondest of farewells. You are, in a way, will be my commander, my general, my friend. Godspeed, Zephalopod Zargosian. That's why I was right at the back um, when all you guys were going in. I actually got out before the city exploded, and then I just told everyone I did it. Well, Zephalopod Zargosian did. And then you killed him. Yeah, after, his, after his, he was done. To make sure that, you know, no one knew that he lied. No, 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 no loose ends. No witnesses. Uh, Ezreal2234 says, Mr. Stream, due to work. Boo! Cannot wait to watch what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that, Thanks, was, that came in like just now. So, <laughs> oh, it was wow. good work. It we all won't, happened. We won't spoil it. We won't spoil it. But this, this, is, this is it. Basically. You don't need to watch the stream. Why are there two now? Well, I'm thinking I'm going to put me in now. No. Um, you didn't have any grenades in your hands. No, so. I need to. It's, it's probably easier to redraw, but. Um, yeah, you should draw yourself. I'll do it over here to get the green, green bits off. And then. Um, draw yourself. Get rid of that. <laughs> Do, do your own self. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to do it as well as you did. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think this is kind of a masterpiece. I'm going to leave, Bandai leave Densai it as it is. says, hello, commanders. Oh, I like Bandai Densai. I wish to congratulate you both on the eradication of this alien incursion. The sacrifice of your men will be written down in the annals of history and remembered forever. The annals of history. Ginge says, don't worry, Lewis, there's plenty of other fans out there that have a crush on you. Winky face. Winky face. Uh, what? Because he's talking about the fan, that, the Swedish fan that I met. Well, I don't know whether she just was being polite. I think she didn't want to just tell you to your face that she fancied you. I think that's it. So yeah. trying to avoid embarrassment. That's what it was. Because why, why would you fancy everyone but Lewis? That's just crazy talk. Either that or she was mental. I mean, she, <laughs> <laughs> she was on drugs. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the real reason. For her whole life. Um, not really a hamster subscribed. 
Thank you. Uh, oh man, they got tentacle emotes in chat now. Ready aim rampage. Look at that. Says Cthulhu's um, somehow escaped oh, to chat. Cool. When will Ben's artwork be on the Yog store as a poster? Yeah, Ben. Well, you better um, tweet. Uh, we still don't have any XCOM merch. Uh, Harry and well, no, this is it. I've just done Harry's job for him. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, well, like a, a winner is you T-shirt as well. Yeah, so tweet, tweet oh. at Harry and Mike this and the winner thing that Steve did and um, see what they say, because they're in charge of merch. Do you know what we look a bit like? We look a bit like Spacemen, or whatever, from um, old um, Sips and Shin. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, we do, yeah, the old Sips and Shin. Boo, 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 boo. I really like those boo, little Spacemen. Boo, boo, cool. boo. Uh, Luke, Lukey94 says, Thank you so much for the spotlight of my models. Can I hand deliver you them, or shall I just post them to Commanders? Those models, man. Do you oh, want to cool. paint them up? I can do. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, just pop them in the post. We are moving office. And yeah, so if you stick with the PO box. I can't deal with more fans offering me drugs. I know you're... <laughs> Lukey94, you are clearly high on drugs right now. Uh, oh, my God. Chat is the best. I love these. I'm really enjoying the Cthulhu tentacles. tentacles. They yeah, look amazing. Really works nicely, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, who added those? When Are they a new thing? Are they ours or are they just a Twitch thing? They must be a part of Twitch because they're not like a sub emo, are they? They're not no. Like, they're not like bound to a specific um, channel or anything. Or maybe they are. Who knows? Let us know in chat. Um, Miguel BM8 subscribed and Bottle Gnomes. Donated a hundo. Man, said, is that his second hundo of the yeah, night? Are we going to have to, like. Holy shit, bottle gnomes. You're, I hope you're a money bags, and that's like. Because I always, I always think people should donate whatever amount of money that if they if went missing out of their wallet, they wouldn't notice it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's a good rule of thumb. Like, yeah, if, if I you, don't want you guys. If you like, dropped a couple of quid and then you didn't even notice that you'd lost it. This is my big, like. That's thing a good amount. Twitch. I want people to, like. I, I don't want, I don't want to, like. I don't want to, like, you know have people not go hungry have people not go hungry yeah i want people <laughs> to go hungry i don't want yeah. <laughs> just so me and ben could get drunk after this week oh but no thank that is amazing thank you very much Bonham. you're you're, the best. you're a hero um job well done holy shit it was a hell of a stream oh fluff's apparently donated no, I, really i can't see it on the list was fluff's hmm. just seen in chat i know fluff's today i did mention fluff's didn't i ah. uh mr scarbearer says missed you reading my donation earlier so, oh, hmm. Maybe. Oh, Fluff, put it in chat. Thanks for the amazing content. The Triforce keeps me going during the slow times as I drive around a lot for work, man. We love doing a Triforce podcast. We are going to have to, um, like, catch up, though, because we haven't done this week, and we haven't done one last week either. Um, I feel like donations haven't been read, but subs have. Yeah, a few people are saying they had donations haven't come through. We haven't got any on our list. Um, can we re refresh? I feel like I've gone through a refresh. More. Yeah, Mr. Scarbearer. I don't know. I think I did them all. I've been through a lot. Hmm. Fluff says Laser hasn't happened. Laser sponge said he donated it didn't pop up on stream. Acquise, if you can look at that before tomorrow, if a few people are like getting missed out, that's that's not cool. Uh, so Fluff's donation said, we done it, boys. Here's to more chump action in the future, but I'll never be full of semen again. Kappa. Yeah. Unless he gets the base again. That was know. kind of one of my favourite running jokes <laughs> of this series. What? <laughs> so Fluff's Fluff's just, we Fluff's just regularly one. filled Fluff's full of semen. Every week. Every week. semen return. <laughs> just fill him up. Just in and out, in and out. Yeah. Every, every time there's a UFO. Oh. It's classic. Gross. <laughs> Am I... Double clicking, no, I don't think so. Mm. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Um, slots of fun hasn't seen his either. Man, weird, man, harassed. Mm. Oh, oh, I'll echo I spray me instead of instead of anyone else. Harassed civil servant donated 10 bucks. Network, um, someone's recommending a game. It's just flick. Can you scroll up on chat a bit? Yeah, go reset, reset Macaways, and I'll go through them again. I'll go through the whole lot. I don't mind. Just reset Macaways. Should we um, should we have a quick, a quick memorial before the end? Well, we can't. Oh yeah, we can. I suppose we can go. Oh no, we can't. Can we? We could if we go. Oh, if we go to that, it'll abandon, won't it? If I go to, hang on. If I put in like last week's save file. Um, oh yeah, that will work. Won't it? That should. No, no, because last week's save file is from. 
the mission. We're still, uh, in the mission. we're still in the mission, aren't we? Week before last. Maybe, yeah. And then we can go through the, the, the deaths. That'll be cool. Yeah. Um, where is it? Where, where does X, XCOM live? I thought it was in my documents, my games. It no. might be in your documents. On Open the, XCOM, on the there we go. So okay. this is the... Right, this is the on the computer one. And then... Uh, stuff. Go through all of your... Yeah, go through my stuff. Secret folder. documents. Wow, something's going on with the network today. Maybe we can't do this. Poof, oh my god. Poof did donate. The Moose yeah, Lord has like, asked... I wouldn't have missed two of Boof's donations, would I? No. The Moose Lord no. asked if we've played the XCOM board game. And I have played it. I don't think Lewis has so. I love a bit of Boof. Do you want to try the XCOM board game sometime? We were going to, weren't we? Mm. It's got a, has it got like an app like it's the It's got iPad? an app, yeah. Yeah, we were going to. We should do it. It's good. It's a good game. It's quite frantic, though. Like, there's a, there's a timer. It's tenacious, yeah. Man, we need to get like a different... I think we need to just have the... the um, the raw, the raw data. Hmm. Sheet. Oh. Hmm. Could I? Could I get the link to that, Steve? Um. Okay, so I've only got two save files because I've been overwriting them each week. So we can either do last week's or the 12th of April. So I don't think that's a go. All right. Well, look, it's time to end the stream anyway. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching and joining us on this adventure. It's been pretty epic. Um, if we didn't manage to get your donation, I'm, I'm really sorry. We'll, we'll have to fix that for next time. But we really do appreciate that. Yes. Thank you to everyone who watched everything. and it's donated. Been, it has been a hell of a stream. I can't believe it's been such a long journey. I can't believe we got through it and we did it. I'm so glad to have finished this game finally. We did it. We it's have like, completed Terror from the Deep. Oh, it's been a long time coming. We can stick that on like our CVs. It was a little bit like colonization towards the end though. Like we thought it would end in a week and then it was like three more weeks. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, really that's, true. It's like an extreme version of one more turn. <laughs> yeah, um, just one more stream. One more like, stream. God, it just kept going, didn't it? Like, oh, we'll be done, we'll be done by... December. <laughs> the war will be oh. over by Christmas. Um, so yeah, next week we're not going to be around, uh, nope. but someone will Someone cover. will be on. And then after that when we're back from Comic-Con we will pick up something new and fun and retro and, and, and have a go. Ben yeah. will go first and then I'll pick something next. And we'll see We'll see what we see. We'll see what lies. But it'll be fun. Beneath. No matter what. Goodbye Commander. So you can hang around and watch Dutch Crew. Man, it was a good it was a good, it was a top-notch stream tonight. Yeah. Have fun. Streams. Hope you all enjoyed it. And shout out to the Fod Squad. And shout out to Fod everyone squad. who donated. If you're still watching. Um, Dr. Johnny donated just now. Oh, Dr. Johnny! Good job, Commanders. Thanks for all the deaths you brought me. No worries, man. That's the thing that happened. Um, <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs>